guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. I'm so glad you're here. I hope you're having the best week, kind of laying low right now, enjoying the holidays, the time around the holidays, and wanted to bring you another compilation. This time, this one, I say this all the time, this is one of my favorites. This is one that I've really worked hard on. It's over three hours of content, but it's um the best of the memes I found online, the Interesting conversations from Twitter, I guess formerly Twitter, now X, but just the social media commentary on these two. We look at some funny pictures, we get to some interesting discussions, and it kind of refreshes our memory on things they've done throughout the year. So I thought this would be an interesting one for you all. There's some really funny stuff that I completely forgot about. See Megan's ostrich legs for details. A lot of fun stuff coming up. So definitely check out and enjoy this one. I appreciate you all so much. A lot of you say these uh, big compilations are some of your favorites. I can't tell you what that means to me to be able to share my work together like this and for you guys to appreciate it so much. And for you to just run it in the background while you're doing you know, your daily stuff, I, I, I just can't tell you what that means to me. It really does. I hope you all are warm and cozy and having a wonderful week. I cannot wait to bring you all kinds of new stuff very soon. Thanks for sticking with me, guys. Let's get into this. Hey, guys. Welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. Today, I'm excited you're here. Yes, this is Smeg. She she did a modeling shoot back in the day and once again managed to look nothing like herself. Um, <laughs> but this picture will come up in a little bit. I wanted to jump into Twitter and take a look at what's going on, what people are saying the funny memes that are floating around and being sent to me and have laugh at all of it. So again, thank you so much for being here. You drunk goose, honk honk. I really appreciate it. This is Lady Goose. Let's dive into this. All right, right off the bat, I want to shout out Skate Betty, who's usually here in the comments. She's awesome. Thank you for sending me this, you guys. Look what Skate Betty made. You guys, I got such a kick out of this. It brought me so much laughter. And <laughs> it's spot on. As soon as I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, that's brilliant. I wish I'd thought of it. That's too funny. She does love those crinkled up white shirts. All right, and then it's the, the caption on this one that got me. Take a look at the picture. This is HRH Princess Chelsea in a tree. Look at this. It says you can't unblank a cluster blank. So, oh my God, it's so good. So perfect. And again, we see Megan is messy. All right, let's talk about this. Lulu LA posted this. So Lady Colin Campbell, love her, you know that. I covered her book. If you haven't watched those recaps, go back and watch those. I have a whole playlist. Lady Colin Campbell in her recent update on YouTube has reiterated yet again that yes, Archie and Lily do exist, despite the conspiracy theory out there saying the children do not. And I, for one, believe her. What she did highlight yesterday, however, was that there is a, and then it goes to the next tweet, so let's keep reading. Story to the two children, which has not yet surfaced in the public domain. An answer as to why the children look so different in the photos the couple released each time we get a glimpse of them, Lady C thinks it's done on purpose to confuse the public and create a discussion. So create a discussion point to keep us all talking about them. Again, I can honestly believe this too, knowing how Megan and Harry like to operate. So I think this is the camp where I fall to. I've talked about it before. It took me a long time to even talk about it because it does sound nuts. Like I don't want to cross into tinfoil hat ever. So I try to really research and think out my position on things. And I do think... It took me a while to talk about it, but I do think this is where I fall. I think the kids exist. I believe the surrogate story. I've seen too many moon bump things. And possibly, maybe she carried Archie. Maybe it was a surrogate the second go around. I, that I don't know. I'm trying to think what story could they be talking about that hasn't been out there or hasn't surfaced yet. That's what I'm curious about. Um... But the part about releasing different images of the kids is so odd to me. It strikes me so weird that it all all of a sudden made sense. That is so weird. And it would be something that 
they, especially Megan, would do anything to keep us talking. But isn't that weird, too? I actually have said before, that's the one thing I a little, I don't respect anything about these two. I can't stand them. But if I'm going to have to pick one thing that I might respect a little bit, it's to keep your kids out of the the limelight. I think I, I, I kind of get that in a way, but that's not what these two do. They just share glimpses of what could be their kids, what sounds like may not be their kids. And I find that real weird. I don't think that's protecting anybody. I think this person's right. It's just to get people talking about it. But I also want to be clear. I am not standing up for Megan. She sucks. And if she really was just all about protecting the kids and giving them privacy, then she wouldn't have posed for the paparazzi photo of taking whoever that kid is, if it's Archie or somebody else, to school. Remember, she stood in front of that hedge, her favorite thing to do and had photos taken of her carrying Archie to his first day of school so and that comes on the heels of her saying I I don't know why I try to make sense of it nothing they say or do ever lines up ever makes sense but remember she said that's one of the reasons they didn't stay in the UK haha is because every day they'd be forced to do a photo shoot in front of school I've talked about this and it's like no they would not the Wales children don't have to do that. The little princess, or the little princess and princes, um, that's hard to say. Princes and princess do not have to do photo shoots every day at school. That's not a thing. So why do you think your kids would have to do that? Of course, you blow everything up and lie about everything. Why not lie about this too? So I don't think it's for uh, um, protection reasons that she lies about the kids I think it's for attention as per everything else in her whole life both of their lives all right this is the kind of crap that I see on Twitter that makes me want to run and scream into my pillow ready (laughs) not Aussie chick we love Aussie chick she's here in the comments too (laughs) she's great but she shared this it's a sugar I mean (sighs) How can you tell? Well, read the idiotic things being said, but they always go to jealousy. And I find that so funny. What is anybody jealous of, of those two? My God. All right. But uh, anyways, jealousy, pure and simple, jealous, bad for your health. And it's an ugly look. See, they even write like teenagers. So that's how you can tell it's a sugar. Harry married, married someone is beautiful. Let's capitalize that. Okay. Talented purposeful. Oh, she's purposeful. All right. She has a purpose of wrecking and ruining and destroying everything she does. Highly educated. I'm sorry. What? Intelligent. Okay. And with a big heart. Definitely not. Trolls. Work on yourselves. Look in the mirror. Millions. Love Megan, you guys. And I just like the Aussie chick's response was <laughs> just a simple millions question mark with a crying laughing emoji. Well done. Okay. I wasn't sure if I was going to include this one or not, but I did. I'm going to post it just because it is going around Twitter. People are wondering if everything's okay with Beatrice. And I don't really have an opinion on Eugenie or Beatrice. I really don't know much about them, truthfully. Not... Loving that they kind of stuck with Harry and Meghan, although it seems like that may have gone away as well. I welcome your thoughts on this one. Um, on uh, if you're fans of theirs, if you follow them, that sort of thing. But let's take a look at what people are talking about. So here's the picture. And there's several like this where they were saying that it's just kind of an odd picture. And I'm just chalking it up to that. It's just an odd picture. Maybe they weren't expecting it. I think the thing that bothers me about this photo is not the weird hand-holding thing. They're trying to say, oh, he didn't want to hold her hand. Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. I don't know. It's nice to see a couple holding hands where one's not clawing on the other. But the only issue I have with this photo is, what the hell is she wearing? (laughs) What is this outfit? Come on. I hate it. Um, No, I'd seen before it was Chloe, I think. And I have some Chloe perfume that I love. I really don't know much about Chloe otherwise, but, um, I hate the dress very much. I don't understand it. It doesn't, the top doesn't seem to go with the bottom, but, uh, but yeah, I'll leave it at that. Again, I'm not here to, 
I'm not really into, I, I just, I'm not into, you know, talking about them because I really don't know anything about them, but I'm just bringing up that this is going around Twitter. People think that something might be going on with her. Okay. I'm excited to read this one with you. This was shared by, is it Alex Marie Holland? It looks like, and we're going to discuss a photo. I want to go ahead and show you the photo before we deep dive into this, because this photo I think about a lot too. Let's take a look. All right. So sorry, it's grainy. This is the photo that was shared. I believe it was just zoomed in, but it cuts off Meg's face, but you can tell, I mean, she's just smug. She's just, I can't remember if she's, I've seen this photo a million times. I can't remember if she's talking to somebody in this or just, I think she is, or she's just smugly smiling to herself, but she's of course in the Kermit outfit, right? It's not easy being smug. Um, <laughs> and Harry is giving her this look. And so let's continue this comment and then we'll speculate on what's happening. Okay. Every single time I look at this picture, I can't help but wonder what Harry is thinking here. Of course, none of us will ever know, but it's hardly a look of love. I doubt in this moment he's thinking, oh, my love, the greatest love of my life, my mother reincarnate. That's so gross. <laughs> so true, but so gross. Not, not true that she's a reincarnate, but that he believes it. I adore you. I'm giving up my whole life, my family, my friends just for you because you're worth it. <laughs> It's more of a look of, oh, oh, blank. What have I done? <laughs> you really are not worth it. Yeah, I agree. I think he's just an angry little prick. So I think, or to quote the Australian, uh, what news, it's, he's an angry little turd. But of course, it was all too late for Harry. He had been well and truly played. The ring had been placed on her finger and he probably didn't want to lose face with his family friends, nor the British public. Shame she didn't see that look on his face. It might have wiped the smug look plastered all over hers. I doubt it. This idiot sat there and what I, grinned at her. He looked mad at first, but then grinned at her when she did the stupid curtsy. So I don't think he's putting his foot down over anything. I really don't. And I don't think she cares if he does, truthfully. All right, so you've seen this picture, I'm sure, but in case you haven't, look at the lady kneeling down with the kid right there next to the flags. Okay, I totally missed it the first time when I talked about these photos. I totally missed it. That was her, but that's her, supposedly, uh, Megan. Okay, so I wanted to show you this picture to show you this. Tittle Mouse is talking about that, and a couple of you had put this on my um, channel in the comments, that... I'm not familiar with this channel. It's called, is it Kelt Views? Well, according to Tittlemouse, Kelt Views did some investigating and I guess zoomed way the hell in and showed that the actual picture of the person is this. And the only thing I can think to say is, oh my God, it's a demon, kill it with fire. <laughs> what is this? No, seriously, what is this? What am I looking at? Whew. I'm not trying to make fun of anybody. I'm just saying this looks like AI nightmare shit. This doesn't look real. Is this real? So people are thinking that, again, she wasn't actually there, that they blurred out somebody else, and this is maybe the person who was there. I don't know. I don't know anything. I don't trust anything that those two say. So if they say she was there, then I'm going to say, no, she probably wasn't. It probably was somebody else. Oof, I need to go wash my eyeballs out. All right. Then we got Anna M. who sent this to me. Thank you for sending Anna. All right. So this person who I believe is actually Megan herself, um, <laughs> loves to tweet out very stupid things. And so again, I think it might be Megan. Says, I would so much like to see hashtag Megan Markle in the next season of hashtag and just like that. You guys, in case you don't know, I'm sure you do, but in case you don't know, I also was covering and just like that. Although that show got so stupid and so bad, and that's saying something because season one was bad. So not fun or funny. It was so bad that I had to quit watching it. I really did. So I actually even said if Megan, and there were some crossovers because uh, Gloria Steinem made an appearance. There's just some things and I was like, oh God, that's Megan. Um, but I had actually said the only thing that could possibly make this show worse 
which I didn't think there was much, but the only thing would be is if Megan showed up. So this person is asking for Megan to be on the next season of And Just Like That. Then goes on to say the show is woke, inclusive, fun, and in need of some charismatic. Has that word ever been used to describe Meghan Markle? I don't think so. And stylish. Again, never. Lady to film Kim Cattrall's spot. So this person is trying to suggest that Meghan could fill Samantha's spot. I don't think so. It would be a perfect match. Wow. It would be a perfect match only in the sense of that show is a complete and utter shit show and a complete mess and enter Megan because she is a shit show and a mess. All right. I want to show you what people are talking about before I actually show you the comment that made me laugh. I didn't even want to talk about this because it's complete and total and utter garbage, bullshit, whatever you want to call it. It's lies. They're trying to say that Harold outranks William in popularity. No, that's not true. I believe, and I, and I may have this wrong, but it's my opinion. What I think happened is they pulled a few people in America. A few people had said something about Harry. I suspect it's because he's been in the news so much. And so it led people to write stories to say, well, Harry's more popular than William. No, he absolutely is not. There's no way. Uh, Harry has a negative approval rating. I think that they are just trying to play on words and get people to angry click it. I really do. So that's why I won't even talk about it because it's complete and utter bullshit. I mean, some, not all, because again, hello, channel, we're here. We knew it. But some in America have been slower to realize these two fraudsters, <laughs> to my Harold and Fraud, of course, um, than others, but I think they're finally, I don't know, they've woken up, they see it, so there's just no way. So no, I won't report on this, but I will show you the funny response that somebody had to this article. It's Vivi the Duchess, British and Proud, says H is about as popular as syphilis. <laughs> Thank you for the laugh. That's exactly how I feel as well. It's He's about as welcome and popular as syphilis. So the royal rogue <laughs> sent out this. He fixed it. I guess it said it was a huge boost for the couple. Talking about, again, this fake popularity story. Well, the royal rogue <laughs> fixed it and made it a huge boost for the couple. Talking about Harry and Meghan. And I think that's pretty great. Then side note, my brain wandered to huge boobs, which wandered to... Show me them honkers. Honk, honk. Honk in the comments, everybody. Ah, oh, I'm so excited you're here. All right, let's keep going. Duchess of Melbourne. This really made me laugh. So apparently this is a thing people have been showing where Omid blocked them. I checked. I'm not blocked yet. I'm sure it's coming. Wait till I start making fun of his dumbass book. It'll happen. Um, <laughs> let's see. Omid Sco Scobie blocked you. Okay, whatever. Um, but I love this person's response, which is yikes. What could I possibly done to piss it off? <laughs> That's pretty great. And then we're going to end on Lean Me Machine. And it's Meghan Markle, extra sour, hashtag lemon, hashtag the claw. You know, she loves the claw. So they photoshopped a white claw in her hand, and I think that's pretty fantastic and pretty perfect. It's extra sour lemon, and it goes perfectly with this face right here. <laughs> I love Lean Me Machine. So I was just scrolling around, twatting around on Twitter, <laughs> and I found this was trending. Meghan Markle is a con artist. And then you guys, this is the first thing I found, and I'm dying. I love it so much. Look at this. Evans E. shared this, and it looks like credit goes to at Zen Craig. But take a look at this, you guys. So clever. Oh, my God. So Evans E. posted such an immaculate beauty. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't even believe I totally missed that reference. Oh, or that I didn't think of this. This is just too funny. I've been looking at this outfit so much because I truly hate it. And, um, yeah, this is perfection. Thank you for sharing this. You guys, look at this screen. Look at this username. Madam Overseas Back Fat <laughs> shared this one. It says, remember the time Meghan Markle had to stay in Europe longer than she expected and her spray tan washed off? I do. And then these pictures she shared as well. I just went into a deep dive on this on Patreon about what's up with the bronzer and hmm, interesting how... 
things seem to be changing depending on um, Megan's mood and access to said bronzer. All right. Power to the Bower. She um, shared this image and says, so what's going on here? Any ideas? Interesting, huh? At King of Pop Tweets shared this with a picture to follow. It says they spent $32 million on her, quote, royal wedding. Broke protocol to accommodate her, gave her royal title and privileges she never got in her entire life, and she made a living by trashing and smearing them. Hashtag Meghan Markle is a con artist. Hashtag Meghan Markle is a liar. And then shared this meme here. When the future king breaks protocol and accepts to walk you down the aisle because you didn't invite your own father, and it's still not good enough for you. This person tweeted at, oh, King of Pop tweets again, tweets out, Meghan Markle apparently got a, quote, Women of Vision Awards. The former escort, (laughs) in quotations, who has done nothing for women except wrote messages of hope for sex workers on bananas, got a woman, a women's award. Hang in there. Find yourself a dumb prince and you can be a duchess too. All right. Mystified tweeted out, how many awards did she buy? This woman has no shame. She didn't even give that much money. She kept $9 million from her, quote, nonprofit. What a grift. That's the award she should be getting biggest grifter. Which I did see body language guy tweeted out such a milestone with grifter of the year. I love it. And then Jay tweeted out, not my Jay, a different Jay tweeted out, the American Chicken Royal Family. <laughs> I don't know why that really struck me funny with the Burger King hats. Now, my Jay does call himself the Burger King, so he's going to be upset about that. But <laughs> I, this picture just made me laugh. All right. Maslina Bachman tweeted out, I can't call Meghan Markle anything but Meghan Markle. She conned her way to the British royal family to malign it and for me gain. Attributes earned and exposed are Meghan Markle's a liar, Meghan Markle's a bully, Meghan Markle's a con artist, Meghan Markle's a grifter. And then she attached this picture here that says, just fill my words salad speech. We can add the crowd noise and applause later. And can I just point out, look how they have Harry looking and dressed. I think that's Pretty perfect, actually. All right. HTW tweets out, Megan was a nobody before she hooked Harry. She claimed to be a, quote, successful Hollywood actress, but was never cast in any movie, never attended any award shows, no Emmys, no Met, no Oscars. Nope. She can buy all the awards she wants, but she's still evil. Hashtag Megan Markle is a con artist. All right. The Caribbean Prince tweets, The Charities Aid Foundation reported that Queen Elizabeth helped generate at least $1.2 billion a year for charity. All right. And then Mama Mia, friend of the show, hi, thanks for being here, uh, replied. She was on her deathbed but got up to do her duty in this photo. Meanwhile, hashtag Meghan Markle is a con artist, works an hour a week for her charity. Service is universal, but hypocrisy. All right. So this one put together by Loud Opinions, I want to spend about 45 minutes talking about what the heck we're looking at here. I don't know who the first picture is. Um, Of course, the bottom left is Trevor, is top right Corey, I think, and then we know the stupid prince on the bottom. But I'm saying, interesting. So you drape yourself all over your man. That's your thing. Okay, that's your identity. Got it. So this is another topic I'd like to spend about four hours talking about. This is something that the sugars have trotted out quite a bit lately. Uh, Just FYI, this whole William and Rose thing. Now, when researching, I forget which book it was. I think it was Revenge. I came upon the story. I talked about it. And you guys added more information as you do. You're amazing. But it sounds like the person that originally wrote about it um, backtracked and said, no, 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 it wasn't true. It was found to allegedly be friends with Megan. So, I mean, we we know it's bullshit, right? The story with William and Rose. But look at this. This person posts this, and I thought this was very interesting. It was Harry who had a thing for Rose, not William, by all accounts. Harry and Rose talked and laughed all evening, and I'll bet Megsy hit the roof with jealousy after she found out that Harry 
couldn't take his eyes off beautiful Rose all night. Huh. I don't know. It's all alleged, but that is an interesting theory and would make sense why Maggie Poo would spread this rumor around and talk to a reporter friend who ended up backtracking the story afterwards. Just saying that's a very interesting um, observation by this person. All right. Then Heidi Dundas tweets out, Megsy can be crowned. All the sugars can get together and crown your drama queen. I hear Harry and Meghan are free on the 6th of May. The rest of the world will be watching real royals getting crowned as king and queen. I love this so much. I think this is brilliant. I actually, I mean, I love the picture of Catherine, even though she's more serious here. Uh, I love this. This is great. Thank you for sharing this, Heidi Dundas. And finally, my personal favorite. This one was tweeted out by Savannah, and it says, If this man gets on the balcony, the British royal family will pay a serious price. You guys, look at this. They made a Time magazine for him saying asshole of the year. I love it. Ex-Prince Henry, the ex-royal traitor. Oh, my God. It's so good. I couldn't stop laughing. I don't know what the hell picture that is, but yikes. (laughs) I guess they tried to put hair on him. I'm not sure, but oh, so much going on. But I just, the asshole of the year, that's perfection. In fairness, I'd like to crown them both assholes of the year. I think they both deserve it. We are taking a look at Twitter. And as you probably know, I'm still dealing with this horrible, you can hear my voice, allergy issue, sinuses, whatever. It's driving me crazy. I sound more and more like a goose each day. So to that, I say honk, honk. Um, But thank you for being patient. I'm at one video a day right now. I can't wait to get it back to two and more. You know, I love to post. So it kills me that I can't post more. So I will be soon. Thank you for being patient. Thank you for all the kind messages. I appreciate you all so much. Now let's take a look at what's going on on Twitter. Now, you know, I'm a fan of Brittany over at Royal News Network. She posted, haha, whoever came up with hashtag unsuccessful. That's hard to say, unsuccessful. Um, Sussexful. And got it trending is brilliant. Loved the play on words there. They're definitely the architects of their own failure and lack of success. Well said, Brittany. Totally agree. And I love that Unsussexful is trending. I think that's so much fun. So let's take a look at what else people are saying about Unsussexful. That's so hard to say, even when I don't feel weird. It's just a hard word to say, but I think it's really clever and really fun. And whoever started that hashtag, you're genius. And then Ms. B posted, Megan chose to diss our queen at a point in her life when she knew she was dying. She's cruel, self-centered, and calculating viper she's globally disrespected hashtag unsuccess see it's still hard unsuccessful so the wanton winch also posted this and says absolutely this is what Meghan markle will be remembered for she will never be forgiven for mocking our amazing late queen elizabeth it will never be forgotten so what she's talking about i mean you know about the mock curtsy i've done videos on it we know what she's talking about but i'm saying The reason this is coming up again is because now there are news stories coming up saying that people warned Megan, this is the dumbest move you can make. People will remember this if you do this. And she still insisted that it would be hilarious. And look once again how terribly she miscalculated everything. I'm not letting Bozo off the hook either. He just sat there and watched her do it and didn't say a word. So he's spineless and ballless and whatever else you want to say. Brainless, (laughs) hopeless. Um, He's all the things for not saying a word. So Pilot Hardy posted this and I got to give them huge credit because this is so clever. So I had posted where Megan had done this when she was in Toronto calling the paparazzi on herself when she was getting flowers. You can definitely go check out my video on that. But um, Pilot Hardy points out this picture. And if you don't know about this, I talk about this. I can't remember one of the videos I did where allegedly um, (laughs) reporters had come out and said, yeah, she was calling us on herself. She they didn't know exactly who she was at that point, but they noticed somebody carrying this giant whatever sacks, these giant sacks wandering back and forth in front of the cameras trying to get their attention So they took a picture of her because they figured something was going on, but uh, didn't know who she was. So here we are again. So hashtag 
back to basics, <laughs> hashtag unsuccessful, hashtag world famous tote carrier. So we are about to switch pictures, but this reminds me, I got so many comments on that um, video that Jay and I had put up about her latest parking lot walk where she went to the farmer's market and made a whole, you know, did a whole dumb thing to try to get her picture taken. But um, I find it interesting because I had a million comments from you all saying that farmer's market doesn't even run on the weekends. It's a Tuesday thing. So she had it, she had her pictures made and then she waited to release them to try to overshadow Catherine. They is what you guys suspected. I find that all completely fascinating. And thank you for everybody that took the time to let me know that that sounds about right. And then we have HRH Princess Chelsea in a tree. This one gave me a laugh. It says, Megan is hashtag unsuccessful. I'm getting better at competing with a dump truck. And this one truly gave me a laugh. I, I This one really cracked me up. It says, it's Margot chatting and they posted just popping off to the shops, BRB. And then this picture right here. I love it so much. I don't know why this made me laugh. I think it's the arm as well that really cracked me up. But there you go. There's the there's the tote. And then this person with a great username says Times Person of the Year Kim says hashtag unsuccessful and it says hashtag Harry and Megan are a joke. I believe that they should have added Megan is a joker here, but this this will never not be funny to me. It's one of the all-time biggest fails, I think, of her outfits, and that says something. What is it with her in red? All right, Britannicus Maximus Brutus, that's quite a name, posted this, Emmy Awards. Mr. Thomas Markle Sr. received two awards. Markle was also nominated nine times between 1975 and 2011. His rude, arrogant daughter and dim son-in-law didn't even make it on the list. Okay. And then the princess, Steph, still HRH, says, when desperate, hashtag Meghan Markle has no talent, immediately goes walking around with her big bag and pretends to go to the market and shop. And I can't, I can't get the gift to play for you. I can just show you the still image. This bird is going crazy. Well, it says I'm going crazy, but walk around in circles and it's very funny. And I think that's a play on her legs, just saying. Um... But it says, hashtag Meghan Markle's a narcissist, Meghan Markle's a grifter, WME, your, let's see, you look as cheap, super cheap PR agency with your PR stunts for Meghag. And I always shout out Lean Me Machine because they always post very funny things. They never let me down. Here we go. All right, look at this. Legally Dumb 2023. And then they have her... Carrying a huge bag that says feed my ego. We have the tiny dog with the H and his angry little beaker face. It says uh, running time ad nauseum directed by Meghan Markle produced by Dial of Pap Studios. Well done. Okay. They also are the ones that made this, which I love so much. Carrying the briefcase. That's something I had said when Jay and I had recorded about when the pictures came out. It looked like old habits never or die hard or whatever where she's carrying the giant briefcase all right and then they also made this one that says i'd like to thank the academy for recognizing my tireless efforts to smear my husband's family and my talent to play a victim like a pro although i wasn't even nominated i bought myself a dupe to make me feel better right and then the weeby slash the bee whisperer posted this and it says I see a family resemblance. So take a look at the eyes. The eyes have it. There you go. We're going to transition over to Catherine and Wimbledon and what's been going on there. But first, I wanted to, to show you this. Is This is posted by Dibs on that. And it says, your friends are here. You would have been here, but there's a dress code. Hashtag unsuccessful. So I found this interesting because... You got in the top right, Nick Jonas and Priyanka Chopra. And we know that Priyanka Chopra and Megan have been friends. We don't, I, you know, I don't know now because <laughs> one has a reputation for ghosting people. Just saying it might be that. But um, I do find it interesting because as you may or may not know, Priyanka's show was called out. It was Citadel um, that she was in and it was called out for making a 
rude remark about Catherine. They had a line in there about Catherine kind of taking a dig at her. So here she is at the, uh, the Wimbledon match. So I don't know. I just find it funny. I bet uh, Megan's breaking plates over this one. All right, let's jump into some sunshine, shall we? So we're coming off Wimbledon and... We got to see Catherine looking gorgeous in the green. It says, and this is posted by Lee Hood, and it says, Princess Catherine, the Princess of Wales meeting ball boys and girls as patron of the All England Tennis Club at the end of the men's final. Please like and retweet hashtag pre, uh, Princess Catherine, hashtag Princess of Wales. I love this picture so much. Having a pep talk with the ball boys and girls. So fun. Then we got this picture here looking gorgeous, and it's a, it's a Kate, Princess of Wales fan, and it says Princess Catherine is stunning today. She truly is. I love the energy. I love the dress. I love the color on her. Uh, love that she always represents with that um, special pin that she wears and dedication to her patronage. All right, this was posted by Women of Windsor. It says Princess Catherine on center court presenting trophies to the runner-up and the winner since 2019. So I've talked about it at length. I've done outfit videos on Catherine and the 2019 blue dress is one of my all-time favorites on her. I love it so much. I love, I'm partial to blue, so I just love that shade and I, I love the cut, the fit, all of it. Um, and then we have 2021 in green. Uh, 2021 again, it looks like in like um, a blush color, 2022, and beautiful yellow, 2022 again. And then 2023 was more of um, a light green there. And then, of course, the dress, we just saw her in that dark green, looking gorgeous as always. Here's the green, and it's this is from Princess Magazine. It says, whoever invented the hashtag, hashtag unsuccessful, here is your trophy. HRH, the Princess of Wales, gorgeous, looking beautiful. Love the cut of the dress. Love that she's handing the trophy. And what a fun thing to say. Well, guys, I'm giving myself this award right here. The award for <laughs> making this video when I don't feel good at all. <laughs> oh, God, I sound as horrible as Megan. Sheesh. Litter. That's right. With these two, well, these three, Harry, Megan, and Omid continuing to do horrible things, being called out for their lies, I'm enjoying the heck out of it. Twitter well, formerly Twitter, now X, is reacting big time to it. So I thought we could take a look at some of the funny memes, some of the things that are trending, and some of the interesting news stories coming out, and have a conversation about it all. So thanks for being here. Hong Kong, everybody. I'm Jen. Here we go. So just to start it off on a fun note, you should see what's trending. Hashtag Meghan Markle is a liar. Also trending, hashtag Harry and Meghan are finished. But also... Hashtag we love you, Catherine. I love that. I love that that's um, what people are, are talking about as well. It makes, it warms my heart. Okay, so right off the bat, you know, I love according to Taz. Let's talk about what she tweeted out. So originally the tweet was from Rebecca English and it says, regarding the Royal Race Row story, the Daily Telegraph reports tonight that sources close to, I won't say titles, Megan, insists she has never intended them to be publicly identified and that the letter was not leaked to Mr. Scobie by anyone in her camp. Okay. So Taz is pointing out the same thought I had, the same thought a lot of you were having. Um, it's just unbelievable. Megan has reportedly told the Telegraph through a third party that she never wanted the names to be made public. So basically, she just confirmed that it's correct. I mean, again, uh, we know it's not correct, but according to them, yeah. So she's, in a sense, it's a way of her confirming it without saying, yep, that's who I'm accusing. <sighs> Omid would have only got the information from her. She's just thrown herself and Omid under a bus. Ding, ding, ding. I mean, as I always say, I love according to Taz. So well said. Exactly what I was thinking as well. By doing things like this, it's her way of thinking she's being clever and and agreeing with things, right? Without agreeing with them, if that makes sense. It's unbelievable. I'm not I'm outraged, but I'm not even shocked anymore because this is what they do. This is what they do. Okay, so this was shared before I get too mad, I want to show this because this warms my heart. This was shared by 
the British prince, and it says it's no accident that they're wearing the same color. They sent us a message. So we have the Duchess of Edinburgh, who might be 5,000 miles away, but she stands with her niece, the Princess of Wales. The royal women support each other and are united. Hashtag Princess of Wales, hashtag Princess Catherine. So, of course, beautiful dress worn by uh, Princess of Wales at uh, the Royal Variety Show. And, of course, we have the Duchess of Edinburgh in a, in a similar color, same shade. I love it. I don't know if this is true. I don't know if they did it on purpose. I don't even care. I want to believe it, so I'm choosing to believe it. Good on you, Sophie. I love Sophie. Of course, I love Catherine. Beautiful color, beautiful ladies. So this was shared by Genevieve, and I can't help but laugh. It says, I mean, at this point, there's simply no excuse, but we understand your jealousy. Hashtag, we love you, Catherine. Hashtag, Princess of Wales. I don't know why. This just gave me such a laugh. I think because of, I mean, just... It's just a funny example of how, right, Catherine always gets it and how wrong, how very wrong Megan always gets it. All right, you know I love Lean Meme Machine. I love this. Lean Meme Machine made this and it says, if you're talking behind my back, you're in a good position to kiss my ass. And I think that's brilliant and that so perfectly applies to the three of the the traitors, <laughs> the Harkles and Omen. I think that is... So funny and so well said, and God, it makes me love Catherine even more. Even from behind, she is beautiful. Look at that. And elegance and all the things, and, and I just think this is too good, too funny. Well done, Lean Me Machine. All right, this was shared by royal expert Princess Consuela Banana Hammock. <laughs> Such a great name. If you're a Friends fan, you get why that's really funny. All right, so it says, The son openly calling out Harry's wife. No more hiding behind others to do her dirty work. So the sun title is Meghan's Revenge. Meghan Markle leaked names of royal, you know, the ist word, and nasty and deliberate attack to smear the monarchy. Ding, ding, ding. What we all called. I called it too. We called it. Yep. Again, that's what she does. You know, I've said it before. I hate, hate what they've done to Catherine. I hate the stress they have put her through. All the things. But damn, am I glad to see that others, I know you guys see it, but others <laughs> that have been slower to notice it are able to clearly see what's going on and the torment and the hell and everything else they've put the Princess of Wales through as well as everybody else in the family. All right, let's move on to something funny. HRH Princess Chelsea shared this <laughs> and it's got Megan saying, is it because I'm black? And Catherine saying, no, it's because you're a lying, hypocritical, social justice warrior with daddy issues and also a bit of a see you next Tuesday. Too funny, too well done. Perfect for everything going on right now. All right. Then we have the Royal Rogue sharing this. Megan never said anyone was the ist words. Yeah, right. Scobie never said anyone was the ist words. Yeah, right. It's all in our minds. Holy crap. The gaslighting continues. They bring, <laughs> I don't even have to rehash it all. I just think about that Oprah interview way too often. And the allegations like Archie won't get a title because of the color of his skin and the conversations had around that and stuff. And it all turned out to be bullshit. So here we are again. All right, this was shared by Lee Cohen. And it says, just when you think you cannot appreciate HRH, Princess Anne anymore, you discover it was she who recommended the deceitful, the dastardly duo be evicted from Frogmore. God save the Princess Royal. Hashtag Princess Anne. I love it. So in case you don't know what we're talking about in the book, Scooby-Doo tries to throw the Princess Royal, Princess Anne, under the bus and make us dislike her because she's allegedly the one that suggested they be booted from Frogmore. And I said it when I found out, and you guys have said it, and now this person's saying it. Man, if that if that's the case, I love her even more. Even more. She's wonderful. And I hope that is true. And I love that the idiots, and I'm, I'm saying Scobie and Harry and Meghan, thought, oh, by saying that, we're all going to turn on Princess Anne. Oh, no, no. No, no. I think she's a genius. 
All right. And then I wanted to share this by Janie J. I don't know what this was in reaction to. Um, the part that struck me funny is they shared this photo right here. <laughs> so you see where Omid's living now. I think that's, um, yeah, where's the lie? Okay, and then Archie's special lemon cake shared this. Apparently, there was a blind item out, kind of confirm if you believe those things, kind of confirming what we've all said all along, which is the leak of the name was planned. The author wanted to get people talking about it in hopes they will purchase the book. There's nothing in the actual book that hasn't been said before. Yeah, not a shocker, but uh, interesting to see it popping up in more places. And again, more people catching on to what we've suspected. So I stuck to with, I stuck with what I said. I did not buy the book. So I truly don't even know how much it's selling for. But people are reporting like this one here. The mirror is shared that the book is already discounted 50%. Is that true? That's pretty funny if so. And then um, this person's pointing out it had been discounted to 50% even before the release date. That was the only way the crappy book was going to sell in the UK. If that's true, that's pretty freaking funny. I know they had similar issues with uh, Spare as well. And yeah, I find that very funny if that's the case. All right. And then this person shared this. It says, you leaked your letter to your father. You worked alongside scabs for funding dollars, finding freedom. You were forced to apologize to a UK court. You invented a car chase in a gridlock city, but you want us to believe that you didn't leak your letter to the king with this photo right here, which I love. I love the movie Elf, and it says you sit on a throne of lies. That's perfect. And then Catherine, I don't give a shite, shared this. Now, folks, I expect some <laughs> extra shaking of the tatas today in celebration of the complete and utter tanking of the brand, the traitor, and the trollop. Too funny with a gif of Betty White, <laughs> Betty White just shaking it and dancing around and a big old smile on her face. Yep, I'll be shaking mine as well. I'm doing it right now. Woohoo! All right, and then we'll end with this gem from Lean Me Machine. Again, hashtag Harry and Megan, hashtag Endgame self-sabotage and torpedo. So we got the torpedo of Endgame. We've got them with their picture <laughs> jumping off. We got the ship going down uh, called it's their reputation tanking. And it looks like what a big pile of money sinking. I think that's pretty spot on, pretty accurate. And again, couldn't work happen to a worse pair or worse trio in this case. Um, today we are going to be looking at some funny Harry and Meghan memes, pictures, discussion points, all the things from Twitter. It's just kind of a fun way to see what people are talking about, have conversations about it, you know, deep dive into all that stuff. So I'm excited you're here. I'm excited to jump into this. So without further ado, let's take a look, see what people are saying. All right, right out of the gate, we have Aussie Chick, who's sometimes here in the comments. So if you're here, hi, Aussie Chick. I love your tweets. Okay, so Aussie tweet. <laughs> see, here I am. Aussie Chick tweeted out this. Toby, this one's for you. You've been McMarkled. Get some McFries to go with that. You can dip them in the puddle of slime that'll be pulling on your doorstep in the not too distant future. And you guys, she shared this photo. I love this meme so much. Here we go. There's nothing in all the world more dangerous with this picture than an idiot who thinks she's a genius. <laughs> I don't know why this just hit me right in the right spot. I can't stop laughing about it. I think it's the picture um, that's got me cracking up and, well, the sentiment behind it. Well said, well done, Aussie chick. I'm still laughing about this one. Now, you know I enjoy the Sidely twins. I like to shout them out. They have a channel here on YouTube. Nancy Sidely tweeted, new poll. Did Harry have a better time at the Beyonce concert or Katy Perry concert? So this is something I talked about too. Harry's face. <sighs> He just can't even pretend like he's having a good time. And it's kind of funny to watch. So let's take a look. Then Nancy posted this, a side-by-side. -side. Who could forget? So on the left, we have him looking happy, question <laughs> mark, at the Beyonce concert. And we have him looking um, 
interesting at the Katy Perry concert. Pretty funny. And again, the sugars like to say, oh, you can take one picture and make him look like that. No, mm -mm. this is kind of an across the board standard thing that we get from Harry now, Harold now. Uh, but it, uh, it makes me laugh. It'd be hard to find a picture like that at a concert, you'd think, but yet here we are. Okay, so this one's shared by HRH Princess Chelsea in a tree, and it says, I'm dead. Hashtag Meghan Markle exposed. Hashtag Meghan Markle is a con artist. Shall we take a look? Oh my gosh, I have not stopped laughing about this since she shared it. Chelsea, you're brilliant. I can't stop laughing. This is too good, too funny. So, of course, this is Megan, which come to find out, it's a ridiculously expensive dress. Um, I think it was Valentino. I can't even remember the price now. It's been a couple days. But I want to say it was in the ballpark of about $7,000, allegedly, something like that. So, yeah. The other thing that was pointed out, I wish I had thought of it. I did not. I wish I knew who pointed out. I do not. But somebody pointed out, oh, so she had such a problem wearing stockings with the um, when she was with the royal family. Remember, that was a whole point of contention. And yet, here we are. Then we got Lean Meme Machine. You know, I loved <laughs> their memes. We got this right here, scams. So in case you've not seen it, of course, Kim Kardashian famously has skims, her shapewear line, and I keep seeing where I believe that one's wife has been trying to get her name in the same conversation with the Kardashians. So Lean Me Machine came up with this, called it scams, and says they'll never know you're wearing it. I thought that was so good and so clever. Well done, Lean Me Machine. All right, then we have Mystified, who shared this. Holy ratio, Batman. If you want to see how people feel about Harry and Meghan's PR stunt, Vegas run to see K Katy Perry, which was covered at every stage from airport backgrid to co in concert, mega pat photos. Just read the comments under the article. Okay, so I did because she has me very curious. And let's take a look at some of them really quick. So Give Me a Break posted this. Again, this is under the article. It says about 32 million visit Las Vegas annually. Sitting in an audience, Vegas pop concert and overpriced clothing might be considered a fairly minor achievement. Yeah, for normal people, but not these two. And I don't mean, oh, because they're famous. No, I mean, because they suck at everything. They can't follow through with anything, put little to no effort into anything that they do and pretty much fail at everything. So yeah, yeah, I guess this is an achievement for them. <laughs> Okay, so then we have this person that says, if you notice, no one in the audience is looking at the Meg, love calling her the Meg, or taking photos of her. Harry looks as happy as if he's going to the dentist. Harry looks like he's just come from the dentist, swollen and possibly on some substances. Hard to tell, but kind of looks like it to me. This person says it will be concerts and sporting events from now on, as this is the only way these two can get in the same place as A-listers, as they've shown exactly who they are, especially at the Con Costner event. So now even their powerful PR team has egg on their faces from the debacle, and they are persona non grata. Yeah, I don't get it either. I have about a million questions with regard to the, I'm using air quotes here, PR team. I don't understand it. Why haven't they dropped these two? I Again, I, I don't know about this PR stuff and I really don't care, but I just think it must be due to contracts or payment or something. I don't know. It feels icky. It's not working. I find it hilarious. Can you imagine, though, if you are the poor sap that's, like, assigned to her? Like, you don't want to take on this, but you kind of have to, like, with your job or whatever. The phone calls that you would get, the uh, angry voicemails, the... Think about the things we've heard, allegedly, from the People that were trying to help her with the palace, like the early morning emails, the anger, the <laughs> demands, the thinking that they know better all the time. I just can't imagine that all of a sudden a switch is flipped and she thinks, oh, I'll listen to my PR agency. Doubt it. Okay, so this is pretty funny. So Meghan Markle exposed was trending. So I was like, huh, 
wonder what that's about. So I clicked on it just to see, and this is, look at the top result that pulled up. Dior. <laughs> I find that so funny after it was exposed, it was all BS, that whole alleged Dior thing. Like, oh, Megan might be a spokesperson for Dior. Yeah, right. Uh, it ended up being just another parking lot photo shoot as per usual. But I find that so funny that that's the top result that popped up when you click on Meghan Markle exposed. Okay, so Royal News had posted this that says, even after a year has gone by, I still find myself deeply bothered and repulsed by Meghan's fake display of tears during Queen Elizabeth's funeral. This was the breaking point for me, and the Netflix interview was just the cherry on top of it all. Okay, this was not the breaking point for me. This was a long time after the breaking point for me, but I get what you're saying. I'm not trying to split hairs here because I think a lot of people were onto her before this, but I get what you're saying. I totally get it, and I feel the same in terms of it does. It makes my blood boil, and it's disgusting to see. Um there are a lot of allegations. You got to take it with a grain of salt. But if you look back around this time, she wore black gloves. People were pointing out that there appeared to be allegedly some sort of possible substance on the glove. Like maybe some sort of, what is that? Like va not Vaseline. What's that? Um, menthol type thing where it makes your eyes tear up. So people were speculating it might be something like that. I don't know what it was. All I can say is she's a shitty actress and I don't believe this for a second. Interesting that this is the time she choose, chose to pretend to show respect. Couldn't do it when the queen was alive. Couldn't just be, you know, nice to the queen. Instead, decided to do it on what she thought was the world stage here. But luckily, we all saw through it. You know, I hate to say it. I, I hate saying it out loud. I'm you know, obviously I wish nothing but good health, et cetera, for Thomas Markle, her dad, Thomas Markle Sr., um, for the whole family, really. But this is exactly what I see when dad passes, is some sort of theatrics like this. Just a guess. Although, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe it's that's when the allegations come out. I don't know. I, I've just, I wondered though, will she put on a performance like this? Like, I wish she hadn't destroyed our relationship, even though it's bullshit. I know obviously she did it, not him, but I'm saying, I just wonder if we'll get, if we'll get a show like this when that happens. All right, let's have a palate cleanser, shall we? Yeah, let's do that. Look at this. This was shared by Lee Hood and it says, I just love this photo of Prince William, the Prince of Wales, and Prince George. Look at this picture. I know I've seen it before. Maybe I haven't. I don't know. I've seen a million pictures, but look at this. I'm dying over the cuteness. Look at that little face. So sweet. And I just love, I just love it. I love that they're both in blue, both so handsome. Such a great picture. Such a warm fuzzy picture to end this video on. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for being here. You know, I appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. Lots of funny memes, interesting points, fun conversations about all of it. Uh, I truly appreciate you guys. Thank you for all the lovely comments and all the support. And I can't wait to bring you more stuff like this very soon. I hope you all have the best day. I'll talk to you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. Today, we're taking a look at Twitter. That's right, I thought we could take a look at some memes, some funny things going on over there, especially about these two. P.S. I love these pictures so much. Look at the difference in looks. <laughs> that tells me everything I need to know. Guys, I'm so glad you're here. Thanks for joining me. Honk honk, everybody. All right, I'm coming in swinging. You ready? Lean meme machine. I always shout them out because they post the funniest things and I always tell them that I love their memes so much, but um, they posted this. <laughs> so Megan, uh, Megan has no talent was trending on Twitter. And so they made this. And if you look, of course, she's on the America's Got Talent 
on the golden toilet doing her, I gotta pee. Um, <laughs> I, this one just struck me really funny. I thought it was really clever. And yeah, yeah, I can't say I, uh, I disagree there. All right. And then people... Not not you guys, Hong Kong, but some people really had an opinion on me saying I really felt like those 4th of July photos were photoshopped. I'm just going to leave this here. Here, Here's, um, yeah, you can see it for yourself at, at one year and then at two years. And uh, yeah, that's all I'm going to say. So you can flock off if you disagree. I don't know. <laughs> Get the flock out of here. I don't know. <laughs> All right, and the last one out of Lean Meme Machine. Again, so funny, so clever. Look at this. As one of you lovelies, <laughs> lovely drunk, whoa, lovely drunk Goose Club members put it. She's wearing her UPS shorts. But look, they've put a broom. A nice hat fits her perfectly, right? So my question is, does that make Harry one of her flying monkeys? <laughs> I think so. Okay, so moving on. The Wanton Wench posted this. Harry really is the Mad Hatter in Alice in Wonderland. Sit down, Harry, and shut up. The boy has truly lost his marbles. I love this photo so much. Yeah, this perfectly sums up the both of them. Um, but if, if you're like, what is this? So yesterday, which would have been... Thursday, I posted uh, a video about how <laughs> in court they were calling Harry. Basically, they were talking about he's he's riding ho two horses going in the opposite direction. He's completely contradicting himself and not really making a lot of sense. And they compared it to being in Alice in Wonderland, basically. Oh, boy, this picture will wake you up, won't it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Van72, or is it Vaughn72? I think it's Van72. says, as soon as Harry leaves Timu Tig, uh, he'll probably fall for another similar. Oh. <laughs> so it's Elizabeth Holmes, of course. One drop of blood. <laughs> well, we've already heard in some of Megan's word salads where she's kind of dropped her voice like this. So I don't think they're too far off from each other so yeah yeah I, I I don't think this person is wrong that's that's just funny all right HRH Princess Chelsea in a tree and it says can we finally all agree on this hashtag Meghan Markle exposed hashtag Meghan Markle has no talent well she might not have talent but you certainly do look at this <laughs> oh boy that's pretty darn good. And hey, her makeup is less messy. I don't know. Her hair's less messy, right? <laughs> okay, this one is posted by Tarot by Andy and Tarot Time with Andy. And I guess it was uh, from Instagram watching the kingdom, which I love. I love that name and a picture of the queen. Okay, you guys, I have said this before. You have said this before. We've all been screaming this. Here we go. Role reversal. If the roles were reversed... A random male actor, former blogger, fairly unknown with a divorce behind him, no properties to his name, and no childhood friends, suddenly moving to a different country, stalking a princess, managing to actually marry her, then isolating her and taking her away from her family, would immediately be a red flag up in arms, screaming abuse. Okay, I'm going to cut it off here. Exactly. I've said the same thing a lot. <laughs> to me, it's so striking. I, I go back to it with the hand holding hand, <laughs> more than hand holding, the double claw, who am I kidding, thing, that uh, if the roles were reversed, everybody would be freaking out if a man held on to a woman to the point where she couldn't even go shake hands with somebody, as we've seen. Blue zip dress. I've posted lots of videos on it, but um, people would be freaking out. And so I know we can all see it at Hong Kong, but I'm saying it's it strikes me so odd that others aren't freaked out by this. But that said, I still refuse to see this jerk as a victim. I do. He sat there when... Megan did that uh, obnoxious curtsy and, and seemed to find it funny. He is a grown man, and 
I know I always get comments saying, well, relationships that are, I, I don't want to keep saying that word, but um, toxic, um, you can't just pick up and leave. I get it, but this dude has more resources than the rest of us combined, you know? So, so again, I just, I just refuse to see this guy as a victim either, but it is interesting. It is a, it is a good point. All right, let's switch over to some sunshine, shall we? Sunshine, shall we? All right, Salty Duchess retweeted this. This is posted um, by, is it Furiosa? <laughs> and it says, we're having a royal horse day. So here's a favorite of mine, Elizabeth, Anne, and Zara. Now let's zoom in and take a look. What a fun and happy picture. I want to have a royal horse day too. Look at this, I love it. So, so pretty with the scenery behind and such a lovely photo. And speaking of lovely photo, look at this one posted by Princess Anastasia, which was apparently shared by the Windsor family on Instagram and says, I love it so much. Me too. Let's zoom in and take a look at the queen's face. So if you know me at all, you know I love the queen and you know I love animals. So I'm sitting here just saying, oh my gosh, I love it. I love this picture. I love that you can always see the joy in the queen's face. Amazing. Look at that beautiful horse. Oh my goodness. I want to pet him. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Not the same way I want to pet Catherine, but I want to pet that horse. Look how pretty. Okay, get ready. I'll show you the whole picture in just a second. So Leah Hood uh, posted this and it was retweeted by Princess Megzi and it says, It's incredible that Princess Charlotte Elizabeth Diana is the double of our dearly missed Queen Elizabeth II, Lilibet. If she goes on to be like her, then I think the monarchy is in safe hands. Oh, couldn't have said it better myself. Hashtag Queen Elizabeth, hashtag Princess Charlotte. Look at this. Beautiful, beautiful women. I love it. Beautiful little girl, beautiful woman. Oh, stunning. I love it. This is my, this is my little ray of sunshine for the day. Look how pretty. This is my favorite one, though. I keep saying about it all the photos, but seriously, you guys, look at this. Princess Charlotte, Elizabeth Diana is the double of our dearly Miss Queen Elizabeth II, um, Lilibet. She is exactly copying her here, and it's awesome. Look! <laughs> it's so great! Oh, so beautiful. I love it. What a fun picture. Yeah. I love... <laughs> Look at little Princess Charlotte's face. Look at those cheeks. Oh my goodness. So cute. Love it. Love our queen. Love Princess Charlotte. So sweet. All right. Once again, Princess Megzi retweeted this one and it was shared by is it Catmish and it says, I can talk about this the whole year. Beast. Hashtag Prince William. And can I just say hello? <laughs> Hello, Prince William. Goodness gracious. Yeah, looking good. Yesterday was the uh, charity polo match. If you're on the live stream, I showed a photo of William and Catherine looking gorgeous. And hello, Prince William, right? <laughs> hello, future king. Um, no, he's looking great. I love this photo. Very nice. All right. And HRH Princess Chelsea in a tree shared this one. Catherine and her prince. I love it. So here you get to see some of the dress and the cute, well, I don't know what this is, prize, I guess, that William's holding, and it's just a fun moment. I love the genuine smiles. I love the chemistry between these two. It's so fun to see and, and fun to watch. And here's the photo from the polo match that I shared on the live yesterday. I just, I love it so much. Look at this beautiful dress. Look at all of it. Oh, so cute. Could jump in and take a look at what's going on on Twitter. Just to keep you in the loop, some of the stuff that's trending is Harry and Meghan are grifters. <laughs> that should tell you where they're at. So let's take a look at what we can find over there. So right off the bat, I have to thank Lorraine Martland for sending me this and making me this. <laughs> and I just want you to notice everything about this picture. Let's start with my favorite picture of Megan in the back looking happy as per usual. We got Diana cracking up there saying, and now Mad Meg Markle says, I talked to her. And then you guys look at the drunk goose on the table dying. That is brilliant. Thank you so much, Lorraine. You brighten my whole day with this. And shall I say, 
Honk honk, you drunk goose club. I'm so glad you're here. All right, we got Harry's gray suit that says Harry's set to lose major role after being evicted from Frogmore Cottage. Losing their UK home without a replacement is a huge deal. The important aspect as far as Harry is concerned is that it means he can no longer act as as a counselor of state. Boo should be thrilled. (laughs) I like that very much. Boo should be thrilled about this. Remember, he generally doesn't like England. Bye, Boo. And they attach this image right here. And this brings up something I want to talk about. I'm so glad they mentioned this. I've gotten so many incredible comments about this drunk goose club thing. It is my happy place now. I appreciate everybody that is a part of my drunk goose club. Honk honk to all of you. I love that as one of you very brilliant people in the comments said, we took lemons, we made limoncello out of it. I think that is so fun and so funny and... I actually don't even think of the sugar anymore. I just love this club so much. But the other thing I think about all the time, even before the Drunk Goose Club, is how awful they were and continue to be and are to the people of the UK, to the taxpayers, to the royal family, etc. And the fact that I can help bring this to light, I mean, it's, it's out there, but the fact that I can help show people how awful they've been but it also allows me to accomplish my dream of spending more time in the UK, showing people in the UK how much I love them and how much I love, you know, the royal family, especially William and Catherine. Um, and in all of that, I just think this has been the coolest thing. It's, it, I don't know how to explain it. I don't know if I'm doing a good job, but same thing with the Drunk Goose Club. And again, if you're like, what is the Drunk Goose Club? Some stupid sugar slash Megan Defender said that I sound like a drunk goose, which I found so funny. Thus, the Drunk Goose Club was born. Honk, honk, everybody. If you're here, you're a member, so welcome. And even if you don't drink, I don't care. We'll, we'll drink tea. We'll drink water. I don't, whatever. But anyway, all that said, I feel so lucky that I was able to turn that into, um, limoncello as one of you guys so smartly put it in the comments and same with just these two in general their hatred for the UK the royal family etc and then me talking about that allowed me the opportunity to go to coronation something I never would have been able to do it allowed me to meet so many wonderful people amazing people in the comments from the UK and and I say UK I mean as well as the Commonwealth Australia you name it It's been so amazing, and I think it's funny, and I think it's an added layer of fun to know that it's because of these two a-holes that that happened, and because I feel like I'm on the right track exposing these two a-holes, and you know what? I'm going to get corny and say, I think the queen's helping me out here. Um, (laughs) I do. I love the queen so much, so any chance I can have to... Uh, to actually curtsy to Her Majesty, even if it's just with my words, I will do it. I'm like this a-hole on the screen. And uh, again, exposing these two has been... It, I, it sounds like I'm ending. I'm not. I, they'll keep doing dumb stuff. I'll keep talking about it. I just mean, it's just been an incredible opportunity and it has allowed me to show my love for the UK, whereas these two just couldn't be bothered. They're too busy spending money and being all victimy and <laughs> pretending to gaze at each other, whatever it is that they do. Anyway, I just want to say thank you again to everybody. Now let's get back into these memes, shall we? So this is in response to giving up Frogmore. Ha ha. See you later. No, I'm sorry. Being evicted from Frogmore. Ha ha. See you later. So at Danny 91175607 says, goodbye grifters with two clown emojis and boom. Okay, I never say this name right. I apologize. I believe it's Canal Citadel. I think that's right. I think I was saying Cancel Citadel, but it's Canal Citadel. And it says, Harry's fans. William took Murdoch money. Harry is taking a stand. Okay, so that's a thing happening over on Twitter. Sugars keep twisting things and acting like some that Harry's some sort of hero for not taking the settlement that was offered. Um, and, uh, and making it seem like William's dirty for taking Murdoch money. He was owed the money. He was hacked. The difference is William actually had proof in a case 
stupid ass Harry's like, you should just believe me. Otherwise, it's unfair. Ugh, I hate that guy. Anyway, so that's what's going on with the sugars. They're really busy over there on Twitter. Um, <laughs> so this person is replying to that and saying, nope, H wanted the same as William, one million pounds. But when he re realized he wouldn't, he decided to slander William and then turn around and seek 302,000 pounds from Murda, a fake and tosser. Ironically, his lame case won't even get him that. And this was most likely Megan's face when she got to talk to him about how poorly he did in court and the fact that he most likely won't get anything or not very much. I am dying to know the outcome of this case. I heard it's wrapping up. I heard that there was um, something that came up that they tried to get a letter admissible by the judge and the judge says, I don't think so. Um, so Harry's side is mad. I like any news like that. Keep it coming. Hopefully we find out that, um, I hope that little weasel gets nothing. So we have Lori, the dream expert, and she's talking about an article here. So take a look at that if you're interested. I want to show you the meme she made for Megan because it's so funny and it, it's just perfect. Here we go. The illustration that she made, it says, I think we all know why Megan's podcast failed. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I love the, I love the banana in there as well. Oh my goodness, this is too good. Uh, I gotta say, Megan's uh, skin looks better than I've seen it, but uh, <laughs> that's the only issue I take with this picture. Otherwise, yeah, spot on. <laughs> wow, yeah, why not? Probably what truly happens when not scrolling through and reading some comments on our videos and <laughs> looking at pictures of Catherine. So I did know that the Scottish coronation is coming up. I know this because I looked into it to see if I could go. I couldn't make it, but I really wanted to go. Dying to go to Scotland. Anyway, Scottish coronation is coming up. I did hear that um, William and Catherine will feature heavily in it. Another reason for me to go. But I love that this person says no one cares. Not about the coronation, but that people are reporting Harry you know, Harry and Dum Dum won't attend. Dum Dum and Dum Dum won't attend the uh, Scottish coronation. And this person says, "Yeah, we know." So Duchess of Narcissus <laughs> tweeted out this, um, where it says Meghan Markle reportedly has offers pouring in for her new media projects, separate from Prince Harry. I feel like she's not listening to her talent agency. I feel like she herself is putting this shit out there. Nobody believes it. So of course. The Duchess of Narcissa, <laughs> that's such a funny name, says, I highly doubt this, but further proof of separation, because the, the thing is saying that offers are pouring in for her separately from Prince Harry. And then uh, Van72 <laughs> says, it's subtle, almost subliminal, like a sledgehammer. <laughs> so good. Okay, then we got Lulu LA flying the flag for our British Royals. It says, in game for the firm. Of course, we're talking about that stupid book. I don't even want to, I don't even want to talk about it because I don't want to give that dude any more publicity at all. I, it's just a book that's out by Omid and by Omid, I mean Megan. And it's, it sounds like it's going to be bashing the royal family without a single bad thing to say about Harold and Fraud over there. And yet, Omid keeps talking about wanting <laughs> fair journalism and reporting. Okay, sure. Um, it says, let's see here. Uh, people laugh and insult our intelligence. And then says that creature's name. And then says Harry and Meghan. They've reached their end game and they never managed to launch themselves in the first place. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, I... <sighs> I definitely, I'm not, I don't want people to buy this book. I don't think it's not a good idea. I don't believe anything in it. When it comes out, we'll make a call if it's even worth talking about. If I did talk about it, it would just be about the ridiculousness and the lies. I will not be promoting this book, obviously, because it's just, it's basically, somebody called it Spare too. I don't even think it's that. I think it's Megan's book coming out. I mean, we saw how she jumped into finding freedom and then of course lied about that too but was, so she'll have her grubby little mitts all over this one so the one winch shared this one and 
and it's not even about the article or what it says. I just, this picture made me laugh because it's perfect. Oh no. Oh guys, it's too hot. It's too hard to do a podcast. I can't be bothered to interview people. Can you believe they want us to work and pay us like some ridiculous millions of dollars? Oh, they're the ist words we like to throw around. Okay, this was shared by Richard Eden, and it says, People lost their jobs while Spotify lavished millions on Prince Harry and Meghan. So again, it's too hard. I'm not making fun of the people that lost their jobs. I'm making fun of these two a-holes. Uh, there's lots of anger. So this, this article came out in Daily Mail, and I didn't want to make a whole video on it, but I did want to share it here and say, it's such bullshit. Can you imagine losing your job because... These two just simply couldn't be bothered. Um, yeah, they, they're the worst. So Brittany over at Royal News Network uh, says, I've always found it very telling that while dating, Meghan Markle went with Harry to Africa only once or twice. And only after that did she go on royal tours. She never seemingly wanted to go when she got the ring. Ah, ding, ding, ding. I said the exact same thing. And honestly, I don't think it's just her because he doesn't really seem in a rush to go back. I know now they're reporting he'll go back for Netflix, but for somebody that talked about it longingly in spare about how he was ready to make it his home or whatever he said in that bullshit book, um, he sure doesn't seem in a rush to go back, except for now where he's being paid to. So going back to that podcast thing, I forgot about this. Baroness Brooke points out Okay, so this came from OK Magazine that Spotify was supposed to release a statement saying how great it was to work with Megan, but they didn't. Dun, dun, dun. So what happened there? Hmm. I have a hot cup of tea throwing guesses. <laughs> she doesn't have a track record for playing nice with others. So why would this be any different at all, right? All right, I got one more I've been saving to show you. I wanted to wait to the end. <laughs> and it's one of my favorites, but it's very crass and it's very much blue humor. So if that is not your cup of tea, so to speak, I bid you adieu. You don't want to hang out for this. But if you're into that sort of thing, I say pull up a chair next to me <laughs> and let's have some laughs. You ready? You've been warned. Here we go. So this person tweets out, it's Names How, the OG meme thief. I think Megan went to the University of North Texas. Are you ready for this? Do you want to see why he says that? <laughs> Here you go. See, University of North Texas. Now I wonder where he's going with that. Notice anything? <laughs> I know you see it too. I'm just not going to say the word, but you see it. You see it. So yeah. Wow, didn't know Megan went to the University of North Texas. <laughs> That's nice to know. Oh my goodness, that is too funny. This one really gave me a laugh. I appreciate the person that shared this meme so much. This is great. And as an extra bonus for sticking with me to the end of this video, I want to share this. So normally I would include this in my, hey, look what the sugars are saying <laughs> video. But I already recorded one. Again, I don't know what day this is going up versus that, but you'll be seeing another version, another edition of the, hey, let's read what the sugars wrote me. <laughs> well, I got a new comment today from a sugar, and I find it very funny. And uh, let's just take a look. So to put it into context and make it even funnier is on one where I'd, I'd made a short where I'm showing she cannot keep her tongue in her head. She's sticking out her tongue at a wedding, and I'm talking about that show that they were, I don't know, potentially working on called Bad Manners. So I'm like, how is she going to lecture anybody on Bad Manners when she can't keep her tongue in her head? So in true sugar fashion, instead of focusing on what's really going on, which is Megan can't keep her tongue in her head, <laughs> they focus on me being petty. <laughs> and while I actually call myself petty, and I like being petty on some things, really? We're not going to talk about the tongue slash elephant in the room that Megan on royal duties can't keep her tongue in her head and you're going to call me petty? Okay, that tells me everything I need to know about you. Take a look at what's going on on Twitter. I've, I've honestly not been on Twitter a whole heck of a lot lately because I kind of found it 
crawling with sugars, but I jumped back on and I'm cracking up. So I thought we could take a look at some of these funny memes, take a look at what people are talking about, kind of have a conversation about it. Starting off with my friend over there, Lean Meme Machine. Always so funny with the memes. I love this one so much. It says, Meghan Markle with the love of her life. <laughs> you guys. Oh, I love it so much. Okay, let's jump in and take a look at these. Okay, so Laird of the Manor posted this and it said, this is service, this is making a change, this is making a difference, this is making it about others instead of yourself, this is the Princess of Wales. I thought that was so well said and so nicely done. Now it gives me an excuse to look at these pictures with you guys. You guys, look at this. And here we have it. Oh, I know these pictures have been out for a couple days, but I could spend hours talking about this. Look how beautiful she looks. Oh my goodness. That is her, how you wear cream, white, whatever shade it is. She is gorgeous, gorgeous, flawless. I love it so much. I love this look. I just, I thought it was so well done and uh, I love it. She looks great. Look at that. Not a strapless bra showing, not shoulders out, not, <laughs> not a look at me move in sight. But we're naturally looking at her because she's flawless. Look at this. Oh, I love that picture so much. Beautiful. And here she is talking to people. I love it. I can't say it enough. I do. I love this outfit so much. Okay, then we have this post by Jordan, and I've seen this going around. Look at the difference. Look at the difference in outfits, but look at the difference in cost. You guys, my goodness, it costs a lot of money to look that dumb, right? I, every time I see Megan's outfit, and I know I've been <laughs> over and over this outfit, I find something new I hate about it. Um, it looks like the jacket's on backwards. I know why they have to make that slit so you can move in it. But it looks like the jacket is put on backwards. I won't even call it jacket. The <laughs> tube top she's essentially wearing is put on backwards. And then I've had so many of you guys in the comments say, it's not even the same shade of cream that she's wearing. It's like the, pa the pants and the top aren't the exact same shade and it makes it look even more strange if you can believe that's possible. So Jordan writes, it costs a lot to look so cheap, eh? Megan thinks if her wardrobe is expensive, then it gives her value and proves her importance. But this is a classic case of nouveau riche, emperor has no clothes. I thought that was so well said and such a good point. We've said it before. I know my friend Biebs Kelly has said it. It's, it's just like this weird belief that Megan has that the more she spends, the better she looks. And it usually proves the opposite. I just, I still get stuck on too spending all that money on the clothes and then not having them tailored or pressed or anything. <laughs> just wearing them like she picked them up off the floor. It's, it's wild to see. Anyway, on with a stupid event uh, that <laughs> Harry and Megan uh, didn't even host, just attended and then made about themselves. HRH Princess Chelsea in a tree posts, don't you understand? I can never be president if people on Twitter are allowed to call out my bullshit. <laughs> Meghan Markle always thinking about Meghan Markle. Okay, so what, what she's talking about, of course, as you know, is it's just a weird censorship thing that Harry and Meghan seem to be pushing. And it's all about if people speak out against them. We've seen it here quite a bit on YouTube. Um, and it, it just pops up everywhere. It's They're allowed to speak out about whatever they want. But heaven forbid somebody actually call them out on their nonsense. And it's like... They do anything they can to try to cancel everybody. Not sure what day I'm posting this or what day it'll go up, but this just came out. I love this outfit. I love blue, so I'm partial to this outfit. Princess of Wales looking sporty and casual chic. And again, you'll hear, I don't know what day this goes up versus that. When Biebs and I talk, she talks about how Catherine really thinks about her surroundings and Catherine Princess of Wales thinks about her surroundings, what the event is, what makes sense. And here where it's a sporty event, of course, she wore white trainers looking great. Okay. So again, HRH Princess Chelsea in a tree. Tell me again, Meghan Markle, about how you think social media is a problem and you want online security. Then stop your Sussex squad and your bot army. Oh, thank you for addressing this. This is something that a lot of creators, including myself, 
struggle with it. And honestly, why I haven't been on Twitter? It's a lot. And um, it is it is unbelievable the amount, the level of hypocrisy of Harry and Meghan to talk about online safety when it's just, it's not even a secret. It's a known thing. Um, how awful the people that follow them are and how, I mean, it's not just, hey, let me criticize what I don't think is right about whomever like we do. It's let me take it to a whole new level. Um, I've seen and heard, I don't even want to get dark here, but I've seen and heard like People going after the whales, children. I hate, I just really don't like, <laughs> I can't stand Harry and Meghan. But there's a reason I don't talk about the kids. I talk about their lack of parenting the kids, but I don't talk about the kids themselves because it's not fair. But the Sussex squad don't seem to have the same rules. They just attack anything and everything they can. And I bring that up to say it's just... The irony of them p- talking about safety online when they are known to have the most vicious attacks of people. Um, yeah, it just adds to a whole new level of hypocrisy like I've never seen. All right. This is by, uh, is it, it, I'm just going to call you Mina. Mina posted, someone please gift the grifters an iron. Is it me or is the bed sheet a different color than the pants? Hashtag Meghan Markle's a con artist. Okay, so that's something I mentioned earlier. I've had a lot of comments about that, that it's two different colors, which is hilarious. It's so funny that this outfit's so bad, I didn't even notice it was two colors. Um, We clearly see their wrinkles and messy and funny side note. Uh, Some of you guys let me know, and I do enjoy watching Ibble Dibble and... (laughs) I was watching a video and she was saying, I was watching this creator who just got frustrated and started yelling messy and wrinkled in a cookie monster voice. And I was like, hey, that's me. Uh, (laughs) So I put a comment that I love that. But um, yeah, so again, I think it qualifies here. I'll go ahead and say messy, wrinkled. (laughs) Unbelievable, right? All right. Once again, HRH Princess Chelsea in a tree posts, she's the class exhibit. And it's <laughs> a meme of Megan copying Megan. Isn't that unbelievable to see? I Obviously, we all thought it. I was thinking about that. As soon as I saw this outfit, I was like, wait, I know she doesn't rewear things, right? So what's going on? <laughs> she's decided white off the shoulder is her thing now, apparently. <laughs> But uh, it is shocking to see the pictures next to each other. Megan copying Megan. I wanted to share this post by Megan's Mole. It says, I cannot take Megan Markle's fake, fraudulent, empathy, and compassion campaign seriously when she won't contact her own father and treats her own disabled sister like garbage. Allowed the Queen and Prince Philip to go to their graves thinking the world thought that they were the istwards. Allegations of bullying her staff press past and present, uses other people's tragedies to gain PR points for herself. The list goes on forever. And this one was shared by Mystified. Hi, Mystified, if you're here. It says, does anyone buy the straight BS? If indeed there are children, and there are many people who doubt the existence of said children, is there anyone you can think of who spends more time away from their children, for weeks at a time, no less, in another country even, than Meghan Markle. And we all know how she treats Harry. So, of course, Mystified is talking about in the speech, she said that being a mother and a wife are the most important things to her. And I thought this was just such an excellent point and so well said. Thank you, Mystified. And then Ray of Sunshine replied, I wish someone had stood up and shouted, when did you last see your children? And being away so much, is that good for their mental health? Boom! Wouldn't that have been incredible? It never would happen, but I wish, I wish so too. All right, Lean Meme Machine Tone Deaf Foundation. I was in tears hearing all these devastating stories, but enough about that. I want to tell you about me again and again and again. I love it. I, th- I just, I love Lean Meme Machine. Very clever. Yeah, sounds about right. And I thought it'd be fun to end on this one, shared by Gil. 
what Megan reminds me of in that outfit. I had so many of you saying the exact same thing. Lou roll, bog roll, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, same vibes. Let's take a look at what they have going on right now. A day in the life, Meghan Markle. <laughs> so good looking at, of course, Catherine, Princess of Wales, in her beautiful red outfit. Yep, I feel like that's honestly probably what happens. Like scrolling for comments about herself and looking at pictures of Catherine. Oh, all I say is read it and weep. Look how beautiful Catherine looks. You know, plates are breaking all over Montecito over this photo. All right, then we have this one. We have the crayon eater asking, what you working on? And Megan replying, I'm adding names to my little black book. Today it's Swift, Simmons, and Zimmer. And of course, Swift being Taylor Swift, where she turned on the interview, and Simmons and Zimmer people that have recently spoken out about the grifters. And I love it. <laughs> this is such a great meme. So they're very clever and made this, I guess, promotional picture for the Invictus special that's coming uh, to Netflix, supposedly. Of a, I, I don't even know. I don't care. It's a Invictus thing, that a project that Harry and Meghan supposedly are working on that's coming to Netflix. Summer 2023, Heart of Invictus. <laughs> she just has to be in it. <laughs> there, there she is in the background. <laughs> you guys, I just keep obsessing about that. Um, allegedly, she took some funds out of the Invictus to uh, spend on clothes. That's the rumor going around now. So uh, if that's even kind of true, that is disgusting. I don't know why I'm surprised anymore. All right, let's keep going. All right, this person's name is Duchess Pinocchio, and it says, Meghan Markle has conned Harry into believing Diana constantly talks to her. Hashtag Meghan Markle psycho. And they made this to go along with it, which is perfect. Harry, Harry, <laughs> your dead mother wants you to marry me. I wondered that too. There were so many things that have come up about Diana speaking to her, uh, allegedly, and stuff. And you guys had so many funny things to say about her going to Diana's grave and all of that. So, yeah, this goes right along with it. And I wondered the same. I'm sure that was part of it. I had heard, allegedly, a um, false pregnancy <laughs> scare helped push the, uh, the wedding along. So why wouldn't his dead mother chime in, too, right? And since we're talking about it, I got to give you guys all the credit in the world. I got the best comments about that. Um, we put out a video yesterday about it. Today is Thursday, so go back and check what Wednesday's videos. But um, about, I, I, I had said just how ridiculous the whole story is. Like that she is convincing him his mother is speaking to her and he is believing it because, yeah reasons and um you guys chimed in like of all the people to speak to she comes back to speak to Megan you're exactly right why would it be Megan what it just uh adds new layers of um insane to the whole story all right let's take a look at this it's by mystified at mystify and they're sometimes here in the comments so thank you so much for being here let's read what they tweeted out it says Megan and Harry made several visits to the U.S. when they were supposedly living in Canada, when they visited Stanford, and when they visited J.P. Morgan in Miami. If they manage to travel without it making the news, I guess they're not as, quote, stalked by the paparazzi as they like to pretend. They also, sorry, they also have managed to be living in L.A. long before March, and lied to the entire world about where they actually were. I did not know that. I really hadn't kept up with that part, but it, nothing shocks me with these two. Megan calls Batgrid to take photos, and she has complete control over the dates and the photos are printed, as well as the story that goes with them. They've been lying from the beginning. Yeah, that's for sure. Nobody's stalking them least of all paparazzi. Harry will lose his security case. They don't need to, let's see, they don't need or qualify for IPP status. I'm sure there'll be another PR stunt before this next court appearance where the paparazzi is chasing them. You mean a near catastrophic car chase? And well, see, I didn't read ahead. Yep. Another near catastrophic car chase. 
The first one failed, but that doesn't discourage nutmeg. Nope, you're exactly right. I keep thinking the same. I feel like another stunt will come. Probably not with a car chase because they tried that and it spectacularly failed, but maybe, I don't know, something to do with the kids maybe? I'm not really sure. A lot of people think they will trot out the kids, whether you believe they exist or not. Um, they will trot out the kids in some sort of, I don't know, uh, attention scheme soon. So yeah, I'm with you. I feel like another scam scheme, whatever plot is coming and the next one will involve, they won't even let us walk our kids to school, which reminds me of that photo of Megan holding Archie. And people have chimed in and said, that's not even, like, she did that on purpose. They knew where she was going to be. She called them <laughs> to take that photo. So, yeah. But also remember her complaint, for, one of the reasons she said they weren't staying in the UK is because their children would be paraded every day in front you know in front of paparazzi for school they'd be forced to pose and everybody said no they wouldn't you know <laughs> William and Catherine's kids the princes and princess uh, sorry the princes and princess don't do that they have a deal on the first day of school but otherwise they're left alone it's part of the deal so no nothing these two say is true you are spot on mystified i couldn't agree more i'm sure they will pull a stunt soon i'm just waiting to see what it is and as i was pulling tweets i just found this one from mystified um again it's at mystif i i had to share it because i was literally just talking about this if Meghan markle can talk to princess diana who else can she talk to maybe harry could do interviews with famous leaders from beyond the grave Megan can get in touch with Martin Luther King or JFK and Harry could ask him about their traumatic childhoods. <laughs> Sounds like a hit to me. Hashtag Harry and Megan are lying grifters. Oh, mystified. So, <laughs> so, so perfect. So spot on. You're right. I mean, why not? The cons just never end with these two. So sure. I... Every time I think they can't go lower, I think they've reached rock bottom. They're like, no, no, we got this. Hang on. All right. Aussie chick. Hi, Aussie chick. You're here too sometimes. Thanks for being here. Despite Megan's twisted narrative about Diana and the fact that Harry's buying into it because he's mentally unhinged, I want to clarify I do not have a skerrick of sympathy. I like skerrick for that bastard. I detest the both of them. Thank you, Aussie chick at Tezza Bradshaw. You you said it so well. I agree. So I talked about this too. I do think he's just, yeah, I mean, she says the best mentally unhinged, but I still don't have sympathy for him. I don't. We've talked about this at length about, I've had so many touching stories. I want you to know I've read them all. I really appreciate everybody sharing all their stories about people that have lost people, people that have experienced true tragedies and yet you don't get to use that as a card your whole life. That's not how life works. And yet Harold has not gotten that memo as he loves to play victim. I don't have any sympathy for him either. He let all that stuff go on with Megan and her treatment of the family and especially the queen and Prince Philip and everybody. And, and he, he did nothing. I mean, even on the Netflix when she was doing her mock curtsy, he just sat there and grinned like an idiot. So no, I don't feel even a little bit sorry for him. Okay, got this one from Megan's Mole. It says, 2018, Harry's annual allowance from Dutchie, which he shared with Megan, was 5 million pounds or $6.9 million. This paid for Harry and Megan's public duties as working members of the royal family, such as wardrobe and travel, as well as private costs. The talentless harlot still moaned about not getting paid on walkabouts. You guys, ah, oh, it just makes me ill. It really does. It makes me ill. And I know it does you too. Just hearing these, these numbers and, and processing that. Yep. Being complain, uh, complaining about not getting paid for walkabouts and and as I pointed out at the time, this is the same, that's the trip allegedly where she went to uh, Fiji and acted like a, you know what, in the market after people had set up and waited hours to see her. She uh, threw a tantrum and, and left after only a few minutes and um, was also complaining about not getting paid. And yet 
forgetting the fact, apparently, that uh, according to this, they got uh, five million pounds <laughs> as well as all the perks of housing and security and everything else. So, yeah. Yeah, keep whining, you whiners. Keep telling the rest of us how hard you have it. Okay. I'm having a real shitty day and I'm not here for this BS. Miss me with this BS, right? Ugh. I cannot with these two. I cannot. It's the same thing. I, what jumped into my head is remember they were like, when we left, they cut us off financially. No, they didn't. It was proven that Charles gave them, I believe it was millions plural after they left. Just absolutely ridiculous. Anything to play victim. Anything. Again, tell me how hard your life is, right? Tell us all. Which state of flux replies, but they were so broke they had to have they had to buy IKEA lamps and bargain couches. Ha ha ha. I'm not making fun of you, State of Flux. You bring up such a good point, but it says Grifter's gonna grift. Hashtag Harry and Megan. Hashtag Harry and Megan are grifters. Yeah, exactly. Those two with that nonsense saying that they bought from IKEA. Oh, and then how about Harry with she doesn't eat very much. She'll make her own clothes. Uh, okay. <laughs> and yet complaining about the five million that they received on top of everything else. Okay. These two continue to be the absolute worst people. Each time I think it can't get worse, they surprise me. And I don't know why they surprise me, but they do. I guess I just... I'm a stupid ass optimist who doesn't expect people to act like this. And then they're like, oh, no, 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 this is this is us. <laughs> they seem to be in a contest with themselves to be the most unlikable people ever. Congratulations. You're winning the contest. All right. This has been trending on Twitter. People are definitely talking about this. People tweeted me about this. I'm not going to give that you know what any publicity. Just know that Scooby-Doo is, I guess he's written another book this time about the royal family. I'm not going to say the name of the book here because I don't want to give him even a little bit of publicity. I will not be buying the book. I can't say I won't be discussing it. It depends on, you know, what comes out, but I won't, I won't do anything to publicize that guy. I don't believe a word he says. He's in these two back pocket. That's all I need to know about that guy. But just know that there is a book coming out. I already forgot when, and I don't care when, but it's later this year, I believe. Maybe the next couple of months. I don't know. Um, and it's, again, I'm not trying to publicize it. It's called Endgame. So just know that. And he's talking about the royal family. Okay. Not bias at all, right? Okay. Um, but this person tweets out, Scooby-Doo warns moments royal family will be ashamed of. The only thing that I would think they should be ashamed of is how long they covered up for the idiot Ginger. Because they did. <laughs> what I mean is they covered and didn't let us all know how painfully stupid that guy was. They tried to protect him. Um, and, and I do take issue a little bit with how the bullying allegations were handled. But uh, I'm not pointing fingers at anybody specific. I'm just saying in general, that's my only issue that I have there. But otherwise, this guy can F right off. Okay. And then we have Connie2835 saying, poor babies. Uh, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry reported reportedly think that people are taking, quote, cheap shots at them. So what they're talking about is there's a there's an article in InStyle magazine. Why are they talking about Harry and Meghan? I didn't even know InStyle was still a thing. I remember getting that thing in high school. Um, anyway, they apparently, I don't know, they put out an article that Harry and Meghan feel like that, well, again, people are taking cheap shots at them. I'm sorry. When you call the whole of Spare a cheap shot at the royal family, what would you call the whole Oprah interview a cheap shot at the royal family? Well, and completely made up lies but <laughs> I mean again I think InStyle is just looking for something to for people to click on but if this is even kind of true if Harry and Meghan kind of leaked this like oh they're taking cheap shots out of tough shit I mean <laughs> you started it so deal with it right it looks like it's being picked up by Elle magazine as well so <laughs> maybe it was planted by their people or whatever but Archie's special lemon cake Tweets out, joke of the day, Meghan Markle, Candle, and Prince Feather 
uh, are sick of people taking cheap shots at them. Cry me a river. I'm sorry, but again, I don't feel the le- I don't feel the least bit sorry for them. They've done this all to themselves. They should have thought of that before they took sh- cheap shots at the queen. How about that? Look at some funny memes and some interesting comments that people are leaving as <laughs> Harry and Meghan are grifters is trending. I thought, yeah, that sounds right. Let's take a look. <laughs> Thanks so much for being here. Okay, Archie's special lemon cake posts a message to Megan and just Harry. <laughs> I like it. Let's not use the titles. Hashtag Megan Markle exposed. Hashtag Harry and Megan are finished. Hashtag Harry and Megan are grifters. Let's take a look at what they posted. All right, we have a quote from Matthew McConaughey. I wish I could do his voice. All right, all right. <laughs> Life is not fair. It never was. It isn't now and it won't ever be. Do not fall into the trap, the entitlement trap of feeling like you're a victim. You're not. Matthew McConaughey. Now, I think if anybody could use that advice, I would say it would be Harry and Meghan. And that's an excellent quote. And that's funny because I'm so sorry I don't have it in front of me, but I was just having a conversation in the comments about this very thing with somebody about why (laughs) it's not fair and why do they expect it to be and why do they expect... Why do they expect anything at this point? It's wild. Okay. At J.D. Eden writer writes, (laughs) Meghan Markle was, according to Lady C, taking the piss, naming her fake, question mark, daughter Lilibet. So I said it there, but she named her daughter Lily. Uh, Remember, Meghan mocked the queen, knowing she was dying painfully, I can't even read that without getting upset. But yes, exactly this. That's why I will only call the kid Lily. Um, Megan knew what she was doing. And that's why I will never forgive or never forget. And you know what? Harry too. He sat right there and watched her do it and didn't say a word. So he helped. He was part of the problem. So they're both pricks and enjoy the hell of your own making. And going from that to this gives me joy because these two deserve it. Did you hear about this latest setback for them? Ha 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 ha. Thought about making a video. Just didn't know if I could get a whole, you know, do a whole video about this. But in case you haven't heard, Dumb and Dumber decided they were going to try to, what was it, trademark or patent um, archetypes. <laughs> yeah, not so much. They said, no, mm-mm, can't do that. So let's read this. The one in which writes, H&M are the epitome of hubris. Did they really think they could trademark the name archetypes? Not only is it a word that is common in the English language, but there's already a brand by that name. Yeah, so something else they tried and failed at. They tried to trademark the name archetypes. I always call it archetypes. Archetypes. And, um, yeah, they failed miserably. And you know what makes me think of? Did you know that, uh, I think it was Kylie Jenner tried to trademark Kylie and Kylie Minogue was like, I don't think so. I've been around longer than you. So (laughs) now (laughs) same thing with archetypes, not exactly the same, but you know what I'm saying? Like, no, you can't just, you can't take a word you think it's cool and try to trademark it. That's not how that works. (laughs) But nobody told Dumb and Dumber that, so they're shocked. Shocked, of course. How can they, who can they blame for this and how can they play victim is my question. And then same with this story. Tell me if you heard about this. Again, I didn't know if it warranted a whole video, but I did want to find a place to talk about it. So here we are. Mystified shared this, which says we already knew she was leaking and planting propaganda. Hashtag Meghan Markle exposed. So what Mystified is referring to is the news that it's come out that allegedly Meghan was leaking stories. Shocker, we've all heard that. And hello, she has background on speed dial. But uh, even after they talk crap about her, by the way, which I love, they, you know, they talk crap about um, Harry and Meghan and, you know, you can't. This is in the land of king where, kings where you can demand things. The, something like that was their amazing response when Harry and Meghan were demanding footage from the near catastrophic car chase. Um, so Backrid were the ones that had done that latest paparazzi stunt with Meghan. So I'm surprised they're actually still working together. But regardless, um, stories have come out that 
even when they were living at that Tyler Perry house, that Megan was the one behind calling them. <laughs> I can't even, because remember they kept saying, people are after us, and they put up those screens. Do you remember this at Tyler Perry's house? Um, we've had to call the police, whatever it was, nine times. I don't know. Um, they, they made themselves into victims again. Like we can't even have privacy. That's why you never see our children. Okay. Um, (laughs) but, uh, but now it's coming out more information that it points to Miss Megan being the one calling the paparazzi. Color me completely not shocked. It wouldn't be a trip to Twitter without me checking out Lean Meme Machine because they always post very funny things. I love to shout them out. They're awesome. All right, this one. You know, I love me some Whitney Houston, so I actually hate that Megan's face is on this, but I can also appreciate a really good joke, and this is a really good joke. So it's, Houston, we have a problem. So look at the face. (laughs) It says, I want to sue somebody. I want to give heat to somebody. Yeah, I want to punish someone, or sorry, somebody, because nobody loves me. Oh my God, this is so good. Now I've got that song stuck in my head. I'm going to need Parody Whitney to make a song about this because this is really funny. Oh my goodness. Um, Yeah, again, I'll forgive it for the joke, but don't mess with Whitney like this. Come on. (laughs) But this is pretty darn funny. I really, I, I really enjoyed this meme very much. All right. Again, with Lean Meme Machine also creating this one. And (laughs) look at the, oh my God, I will never not look at those South Park characters and crack up. Look at the South Park, you know, Harry and Megan, and this Dior is blocked. (laughs) What do they call her, an empty vessel on that? Well, there you go. All right. Stephanie Jane posts the face of someone who knows that her career is over. Her constant need for attention is ending and that the world now only sees her as a grifter after even Spotify can't stand to be in partnership with her. Hashtag Harry and Megan are a joke. Hashtag Harry and Megan finished. You get the idea. And there you go. Those are those, again, back grid photos that uh, recently surfaced. And I want, I understand where you're going with this tweet. And I want to agree with you because you seem very funny. But I don't think Megan has any self-awareness whatsoever. So while you and I might say, yeah, she seems like her career's over. Um... Not her. She thinks she's the queen of the world. Yes, I'm using that on purpose. You know, she's <laughs> she doesn't see anything wrong with what's going on and probably still thinks she's the greatest thing ever. So, yeah, why let the truth stand in your way? It never has before. I would like to go from this thunderstorm to this ray of sunshine. You guys, I don't know what day I'm going to post this video, but today I'm recording it on Friday and today's Royal Ascot. And we got these pictures of Catherine. And thank you. Thank you to everybody who sent me pictures who said, Jen, have you seen this? Oh my gosh. I have seen it. I have drooled over it. That is how you wear a red dress. My God. Absolutely gorgeous. Stunning. Breathtaking. You pick the adjective. I'm fine with it. It, I mean, she's perfection. It's just not even fair at this point. (laughs) Give others a chance. My God. (laughs) No, seriously, though. I love this dress. I love the cut of this dress. I love everything about the length of this dress. I love all of it. Look at her. Just gorgeous. Let's take a look at some more pictures real quick. I want to give Princess Megzi a shout out. They are somebody I follow on Twitter. (laughs) Follow follow on Twitter. And they shared this picture. And I love it. Look at the look they're giving each other, you guys. (gasps) It's just not fair. (laughs) And I mean that in a loving way, not in a Meghan Markle way. It's like, how can somebody be so gorgeous and poised and charismatic when I walk around with like ketchup on my shirt all the time? (laughs) There's my red. (laughs) But seriously, gorgeous. Oh my gosh, look at this. And again, Princess Megzi shared this. It's by Belle at Royally Belle. And it says, I think the best thing to come out of today has been seeing Catherine and Sophie having so much fun together. It's it's clear that they're close. And look at this. Oh, I love it too. I want to be part of this friend group. I want to have tea with them. Isn't that fun? It's such a fun picture. They both look beautiful. It's nothing forced or posed. I don't it doesn't even feel like they know where the camera is, which is such a weird contrast, right? But um, in the most wonderful way. But I love it. Look at the genuine reaction and happiness there. And then we have Canel Citadel who shared when the 
front is as stunning as the back, you know you have just met the Princess of Wales. What a work of art this headpiece is. Seriously, I'm blown away, not just by the headpiece, which I could never pull off, but I'm blown away. Look at the hair. Look at her hair. Look at the style. Look at her makeup. Oh, gorgeous. And my apologies from going from that to this, but I had to because <laughs> that's what I thought of when I saw the red dress. <laughs> I'm not thinking that with Catherine. I'm just saying like, oh, let me find a red dress picture of Megan. And I was like, I know my favorite one. On Twitter, that's right. There's some really funny memes going around and things that you guys have sent me that I just thought we could have some laughs and see what everybody's talking about. All right. First off, thank you, Dr. Strega, for sending me this. Uh, it looks like it was forwarded from Empress of Gin and Coffee. It says, I saw a tweet earlier asking what could come next for Harold after the book, the TV interviews, the court case, the Netflix series, and suddenly I had it. When the musical. What do you think? You guys, take a look at this. This really made me laugh. Look at how good they did on the Photoshop here. I mean, those are some serious skills, but we're going to take, we're going to zoom in and read all the fine print because they did a lot of work on this. A book as powerful as a dead jellyfish now coming to a theater near you. And then we got the whiners there. <laughs> Seriously, I don't know how they did this, but excellent job. The way the light hits their faces, impressive, really. So it says, wah, the musical, featuring hits, wah, I'll Make a Clown Out of You, Harry's Lament, Bewitched, Bothered, and Taken to the Cleaners, Pop Goes the Moon Bump, One Sausage More, Baby It's Cold Down There, damn, these people are funny, uh, eh, said the Lou, and many more. So again, thank you for sending this to me. And it was Empress of Gin and Coffee who made this. And wow, what talent. That is hilarious. And yeah, I I don't even think it's parody at this point. All right. Robin Lynn King posts, just sharing. M, I'm sorry. I laughed when you compared yourself to The Little Mermaid. That wasn't fair. Upon further reflection, I do think you were re represented in the Disney classic. A sweet nod to a narcissistic delusion. You guys, this person did this, and I am so impressed with this. Look at this. They did such a good job of comparing her. She is the villain in The Little Mermaid. I've seen the wedding day photos compared. I have not seen all of these. This person is brilliant. Look at the side-by-side -side photos in each instance. It's incredible. It's truly hard to pick a favorite because they're all so good. I, you know, I'm always partial to that face in the car where she got caught <laughs> making that horrible face top right picture. I, that it just will never not be funny to me. That's why I use it all the time. But look at the engagement photo. I mean, look at all of it. It's incredible. And then I love that this person posted as the last picture there, the, prin the picture of uh, Prince William and Princess Catherine. And, uh, of course, Ariel. And, oh, well done. And then Janie J sent me this one. It says, saw someone call Meghan Markle Woko Mono. Um, and it says, Harry ain't no John Lennon, though. And it says, hashtag Harry and Meghan global laughing stock. But you guys, look at this photo. Well done, Janie J. I love it. The Photoshop skills. You guys are amazing. Uh, I I credit Jay with the, our AI skills, but damn, these Photoshop skills are really good. Thank you for sending this to me. And then Royal News posts, when she reads the news and realizes that Harry made a fool of himself once again, it says, hashtag Harry and Meghan are finished. You guys, look at this. Again, the Photoshop skills. Yeah, on point. You know, this occupies a lot of space in my brain too. I wondered that. Yeah, like, I know she has him by the nuts and calling probably every four seconds, but I wondered how she actually found out how terribly <laughs> he did, probably because every single news outlet was reporting on it. But I think she's delusional about herself and thinks she can only do the best at everything. But I wonder if she carries the same delusion for him. I'm guessing probably not. And so when she got the reports that he did just a terrible job in court, I wondered, yeah, this is probably not far off from the face she was making. And since we're talking about court, Lillian London posted this. Court, 
Your feelings aren't evidence. You don't have any evidence to support your claims. Harry, this is not fair. And then a picture of Stewie throwing himself on the ground having a tantrum. Yeah, that pretty much looks like what went down in court. All right. So Kat says that they're guessing that the Sugars believe that Megan is the reincarnation of Princess Diana. They probably do because they believe everything Megan says and Megan seems to think she is which makes what she's doing with Harry even more disgusting. Do you want to uh, let's see? Do what you want with Meghan Markle and AI. Just leave Diana alone. You guys, I'm going to go ahead and give you a warning. This picture will haunt your soul. You, we've all seen this picture, right? Of when she was a kid. It's I think it's in that vi the video of her talking to her dad. Somebody made this. Yikes. <laughs> I guess it's the reincarnation, reincarnation of Diana, but... I'm with the original poster. I think we should leave Diana out of this. Yikes, that picture haunts me. English Rose says, how many more times will she plagiarize other women's efforts to make herself out to be empowered figure for women? She's seriously lazy and unable to have an original thought. Desperate to seem smart is clearly backfiring. Hashtag Meghan Markle is a con artist. Now I've heard this a lot that Many of her speeches are lifted from other women. Nice, huh? Way to empower women, right? English Rose points to this one here, which is funny because we keep seeing Meghan Markle paired up with Gloria Steinem. So the idea that she would <laughs> have lifted one of her speeches makes it even funnier to me. So it looks like Gloria Steinem is quoted as saying, women must have seats at the table because peace is too crucial to be left only to the politicians or only to the male half of our world. Gloria Steinem. All right. And then she's quoted as saying, women need a seat at the table. They need an invitation to be seated there. And in some cases, they need to create their own table. We need a global understanding that we cannot implement change effectively. I can't even go through this word salad, but you get the idea. It's it's basically lifting Gloria Steinem's words and adding a few extra word salad to make it her own. Princess Megzi posted, see my nose? It grows every time I speak. Hashtag Meghan Markle is a con artist. Hashtag Harry and Meghan are finished. You guys, it's this picture. It's the tambourine on the placemat hat. You know, I was just having a conversation with somebody in the comments about this. I've never actually talked about it in a video, but I have talked about it in the comments with some of you guys. P.S. That person was hilarious. I like that nose growth thing. I didn't mean to just skate over that. But this picture bothers the piss out of me. And I'm not just singling her out. It actually bothers me because Harry's doing it too. Here she's doing the nose thing, but the shh pictures where she's shushing the kids and then Harry's doing it too. Okay. She's either, she's either getting onto somebody else's kids, which I don't think you, you do. I just don't think that's done. And or she's doing it for attention. Guess which one I think it is. Attention, you're right. Knowing that the long lens whatever is on her and pretending to interact with kids. Like, see, kids aren't repulsed by me. <laughs> um, <laughs> just a feeling I get, just a hunch. I don't, my, what's the word? My hackles go up. My, I don't know. It just screams not, it screams stage to me. How about that? Cindy who tweets Diana's boys where are I think it's meant to be where they are today and we have William looking so handsome who will be writing at Trooping the Color I'm very excited to see that I wish I could be there you guys in England just know that I'm jealous and I want to be there and then we have the other one the spare <laughs> not even the spare that's not even accurate but this guy beady eyed beaker <laughs> breaking down in court I don't know, talking about, well, I don't know. He literally said, I don't know, 18 times in court. Um, but yeah, just being beady-eyed beaker, being confused and on whatever substance he's deciding to do that day and <laughs> talking nonsense as per usual. Then we have Zara Haxa who tweeted, I have the feeling the scales are falling from Harold's eyes. And she tweeted this picture. The caption reads, choosing your wife is the most important decision you can make. And there you go. I've said it before. Amber Heard, <laughs> Jada, and then you got old Megzi there. 
And I actually wish they had picked a different, I think that car picture would have been better here where they're both looking miserable, but it's fine. They can pretend to be happy now. And we've seen the misery coming out, right? Anyway, I want to first of all say a huge thank you uh, to people who have sent me memes like this. Thank you, Skate Betty. I am obsessed with calling Harry Beaker. It's all I see when I look at him. Although I have had some of you say, hey, we love Beaker. I love Beaker too. So it is hard to make that comparison, but come on. He is Beaker. And so this is brilliant. Thank you so much for sending me this. And then as a reply to this one, I got sent this. Dr. Strega, I don't know how to say your name, but thank you so much for sending me this. I love it. It's perfect. It perfectly looks like Harry. All right, let's take a look at some memes, shall we? Okay, so first up, we have Princess Naomi Sky 15 who tweets, Never forget that Harry and Meghan couldn't make it work with the royal family, Sunshine Sacks, Netflix, Spotify, and Disney. Even A-list celebs in Hollywood want nothing to do with them. The problem has always been Harry and Meghan with this picture right here. I would say that's the tip of the iceberg. I'd say her family, his family, friends, his old friends, right? Like uh, the Skippy and Skip, people like that he'd been friends with forever. Uh, people that she used along the way. Yeah, they can't seem to make it work with anybody, right? All right, you know, I'm a big fan of According to Taz, and she posts, Everyone Harry is going for is someone who's upset Megan. That alone tells you who's behind, quote, the man <laughs> Harry has become. Her personal wind-up and attack puppet. That's a great name for him, too. I still like Chelsea's ex. <laughs> Chelsea's ex and Chelsea's ex's wife. That's what I'll call them from right now. So I put out a video yesterday afternoon, and I touch on the weird bike of it all. So go watch that if you haven't already, because <laughs> it's just interesting coincidence that around the same time they had somebody trespassing near their land that somebody else just happens to be dropping off a bike. Anyway, here's the letter that was sent back. I want you to see it and then I want I, I just want you to have it in your head as we read this tweet. So Evans E points out, okay, it's on cheap A4 paper, no royal emblem or stationery. The office of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex Number four is repeat, uh, almost convolusive level of uh, repeat of titles. And five, then lastly, it says the office of Prince Harry and Meghan. <laughs> and then Harry and Meghan are sick. I mean, it is funny. You have to laugh at this point, right? I mean, they go on the We Want Privacy Tour <laughs> and call the whole family race. We've been through all of it. You know, all the crap they've spewed about the family. They seem to want, well, they pretend to want nothing to do with them except for when it's time to sell things. And yet, they have things like this. It's like, at first glance, you might think it's official stationery, but then you really look at it, it's like, hmm, yeah, no, that's not quite, <laughs> that's not quite it, right? And the repeating and repeating and repeating of titles is pretty hilarious. So then we have this tweet from Lulu L. Lulu L.A. who says, how any commentator can have compassion for Harry and Meghan in their battle to silence free speech is beyond me. Uh, everyone should be asking what is the underlying agenda and what is it that they're trying to, and then it cuts off. Okay, so this is something that has come up. So I found a tweet to help clarify a little bit. So the Caribbean Prince tweets out, I would just like to highlight that Prince Harry is the true globalist. He wants to control the British press and he's currently working with the Aspen Institute to censor Americans. Meghan and Harry are abusing their titles in America to censor their critics and the UK will be next. So this is something that's come up and I honestly have not jumped into this one, but I am curious your thoughts. I've heard about this, this Aspen Institute, and that it it goes along with him calling the, you know, freedom of speech is bonkers, that sort of thing, and trying to limit who can say what. And I find that fascinating because if this stuff passed, wouldn't they be the first ones that would have to shut up, right? <laughs> but I don't think that's what it is. It's more about... They want to censor people who are opponents of them. And I'm going to say, 
good luck with that because that's not how this works. <laughs> Try all you want. Join any institute you want, but it's not going to work out so well for you. But then again, nothing you do ever works out so well for you. So there's that. All right. Then we got Prince and Princess of Wales uh, tweeting, absolutely. We have known this from the beginning. She cosplays his mother, ew, and knows how to trigger his reaction. So they're retweeting an article that says Prince Harry's paranoias are being used by Meghan Markle. So same, I found this person also responding to the article, Prince Harry's paranoias are being used by Meghan Markle for total control. There should be a law against playing on the insecurities and emotional trauma of others. Yeah, I would say that's pretty much stating the obvious. <laughs> what would make you think she's cosplaying as his mother, right? <laughs> Even the stories of that she allegedly wore Diana's perfume on their first date. Ew. They're just, oh my God, there's so much. To me, the mo I mean, obviously the most recent incident, I know it's hard to think about which one because they always have incidents, but the one in the near catastrophic car chase where she's smirking from ear to ear and he's like having a, I don't know, some sort of, <laughs> paranoid delusion stuff um I mean yeah you can see she's eating it up and he's freaking out that that seems to be how their relationship works all right then we got ESB tweeting out Sky News and it says a very miserable forecast about Harry and Meghan and the article says no matter how the trial goes we're doomed to hear more about Harry and Meghan yeah I don't think that's I don't think that's news I think I mean, that's not new news. I, I agree. I think that even that story we got, what, like two weeks ago saying, oh, they're, t they're done talking about the royal family. We knew that that wasn't true, right? That's them putting that out to get themselves in the paper some more. So um, especially with Charles's stuff coming up, Trooping the Color stuff, I'm sure we will hear something out of Chelsea's ex and Chelsea's ex's wife. All right. I thought this was interesting. I mean, you know how internet rumors go, so you have to take it with a grain of salt, but it sounds like it could be a thing. <laughs> I don't know. Um, allegedly, so CCT uh, tweets out, T, dumb prince Harry trashed his room at Soho House after he made a fool out of himself during his stupid lawsuit. I guess no family or friends will allow him to stay with them while visiting England. So again, it's all alleged. I mean, I'll talk about it because it's here, but I had heard that he had stayed at Frogmore and that was probably his last time at Frogmore, but who knows? It would be funny. I mean, not for the people who work there, but just funny knowing everything we know about Soho House that he gets <laughs> gets mad and thinks he's a rock star, so he trashes it. All right, and then here's the original tweet that was linked with what they're talking about. And it says, word has it that Harold racked up a sizable bill at Soho House wasn't just the liquor and food. There was some impressive damage to the room he stayed in. I guess Harold had that temper tantrum right after his court case didn't go well. Okay, I saved this one to the end because I actually don't like talking about this. Um, I get a lot of comments about this stuff that uh, there's animal cruelty, cruelty stuff involved when you look into... Harry's background, and there's a picture here that's purposely cut off. So I'm just leaving this here. If you are wanting to do any research or look into this, this person, this CCT1, has tweeted out this photo, and if you continue to p pan down, it's pretty horrific. You can see things that you don't want to see um, of where he allegedly had hurt horse. And I've heard the story, too, about hurting a horse so bad that it did, did it is like a pregnant horse something like I don't, I don't even want to talk about it I love animals so it actually hurts my heart to go into stuff like that so I'm just telling you if even a fraction of any of this is true then he's even more disgusting than I thought so I'll leave it there I don't want to leave on a down note let me see if I can find something silly to end it on because I don't want to end on this one but it really is disgusting and it's like every time I think these two can't get worse I learn more things about how they treat people and animals and nope that's that's the lowest of the low all right you name it I thought we could dive into it so let's take a look at what everybody's talking about especially in regard to Hank and Skank P.S. 
was sent this picture. Wish I knew who made it. It's brilliant. The first person I want to shout out is Lean Meme Machine. I've talked about them before on the channel. They're hilarious. We follow each other. They're great. If you're here in the comments, say hi. But I love everything they post so much. Let's take a look at a few of their memes that they made, especially about Harold and Fraud. You guys, I keep laughing about this picture. Look at this. Look at the look on that cat's face. So we got Megan hiding from truth and the facts that are coming to, well, bite her on the ass. <laughs> And if you followed me at all on Twitter, you'll know that I retweeted this because it, it just really made me laugh. And it's word of the day, dictum. When you act like a dick and then you play victim. Example, Harry and Meghan won the dictum award. <laughs> oh my goodness. The Sussexes are globally recognized dictums. I love it. Other forms, dictumhood. <laughs> <laughs> Dictumhood pays well. Ask Harry and Megan. Dictum. That's so good. All right. Still looking at that lean meme machine. They posted this one as well. New York City, Smollett rides. We take you to the land of make believe. And it's given. He's given a ride to the, these two yahoos. And again, just grinning ear to ear. You know, they're the vic they're the dictums here. All right. And then this one spoke to my early two thousands, late nineties soul. And it's haughty by nature and it's IPP as we know that's what Harry is trying to get I guess Harry and Meghan both trying to get um so they get their we know the whole thing they get their protection paid for by us uh it's IPP I want my IPP yeah you know me <laughs> I just really like the haughty by nature that's pretty great and did you know that Meghan got another award she did <laughs> Not really. It's uh, Meghan Markle's top four achievements. abso fucking lutely nothing Isn't that awesome? AFLN award. I think she <laughs> she deserves that one. Bought to you by bra <laughs> to buy, buy an award foundation. Perfect. You guys, I can't even. Look at this. Her with her sassy, stupid pose. Like, oh, the paparazzi just happened to catch me out on a walk here. Mm. You know, posing next to the new king and queen. And <laughs> just that stupid poser on the balcony. That's the only way she'll get on the balcony. The last one out of Lean Meme Machine. I had to show you this one. The Prince. Wah! I guess we have a new cover for his next book. But I think this is pretty perfect. I love that red feather. I love Princess Anne. So next up, we have Marcy Gale. Marcy writes, two-hour high-speed chase for paparazzi to get photos of Harry and his first wife. Yet those th these actual stars walk around New York City. Do they really think that they're that important? Yes. So, the, the delusional, I guess it's so delusional, it's scary. And it's hashtag Harry and Meghan Smollett. And I love that that keeps trending. And look at this. So we got Leonardo DiCaprio just walking around, minding his own business. Nobody's following him. Looks like one person may have gotten a picture. He's not bothered. Not in a car chase, right? Even the guy behind him not even paying attention to who he is. And then here you have Justin and Haley Bieber. Again, nobody's bothering them. <laughs> Just taking a walk in New York City, okay? And then we have, it's Tom Hanks and Rita Wilson, again, just unbothered New York City. But of course, Harry and Megan Smollett have to make it about themselves. This person also posted this picture. I guess this is maybe where that original picture came from, but it's perfect, right? It's so perfect. I love it. So they... They uh, messed with the time cover. So this post was a little bit older, but it's just the picture that goes along with it. Bear with me here. It's pretty funny. They're just talking about what a bad week uh, Harry and Megan Smollett had and how it's time to get a real job to fund your extravagant lifestyle. But then they posted this with it. You ready? Bam. There you go. <laughs> Isn't that good? I have not seen that, but that's perfect. I cannot speak for my UK brothers and sisters, but I have the feeling, I strongly sus suspect that's how you feel. And I love it. All right. And then HRH Queen Salty Duchess Regina posted, oh, look, it's page six publishing Megan Smollett's hit piece on Harry's family again. Everybody knows Harry Smollett is prone to outrageous histrionic tantrums when he doesn't get his way. So while I had taken this screenshot a little while ago, I can't find the original article, but I suspect, and what I'm seeing a lot on Twitter is articles, 
specifically questioning uh, William and Catherine's marriage and, and reports that they're headed for a split and all this bullshit that we all know is bullshit just to try to deflect from these two clowns. And then this person writes, bring it on, Harry and Meghan Smollett. Ter- tell your lies and misinformation. Drop that trailer and hopefully the royal family will unleash the Meghan Markle bullying report. Release all the staff from their NDAs and possibly the dumb prince and his stupid wife will d- drown in their bullshit. I can dream. All right. And then they also showed this picture, which I had never seen and I love so much. Here we go. I am an icon, and before you grimace too hard, listen to this. I con everyone I meet, marry, sign contracts with, take paychecks from, accept awards from, make friends with, I even con my enemies. I am a con artist. <laughs> it's so good. Oh my God. Will somebody please like sneak up on stage at the next bullshit award and like tape this, tape this to the podium? They also posted this one, better shut up, Harry. And it says the only thing more dangerous than ignorance is arrogance. And it says better shut up, Harry, you uneducated, condescending, lying, privileged hypocrite. We're all born ignorant, but one must work hard to remain stupid. Benjamin Franklin. Then they also shared this one. It says I spend more to pay people to post fake news stories about how wonderful, fashionable, and smart I am than I do on actual charity, Megan, the Duchess of Sussex. Guys, we're going to end it here, and I'm going to leave you with this picture because I feel like they are trying to scrub it from the internet. Look at Smug in the middle there. Smug. Look at me. And uh, old uh, Scowl over on the other side. Just filming away. Looks like a really fun night, huh? Really fun couple to be around. Not dramatic at all. Anyway, I do feel like they're trying to hide the story now that uh, everybody's seen through the bullshit. And I find it even funnier. And uh, and interesting points about Harold and Fraud. And I want to talk to you about all of it. So let's jump right on in and see what's going on over there. The first one that I have was posted by Kyler. I hope I'm saying that right. Now, they're just talking about something else, but I love the meme they posted so much. I just want to focus on that. So let's take a look. Do you remember that stupid Variety Magazine article she did? Well, they fixed the cover, and this makes so much more sense to me. And remember, originally it said, like, the Megan moment. It was so stupid, or the Markle moment. Who cares? This one is so much better. It's the money moment, and it's all about Megan's favorite thing, herself and money. Now, I love Lean Meme Machine. I talk about them a lot here. They're great. We follow each other. And if you're here in the comments, you're hilarious. They post some of the funniest things. And I just want to share a couple more of them here with you because it's, they just, they brighten my day when I see them. First off, it's, oh, it's this one. It says Harry's office. The Duke is very busy working. Harry, there you go. I would imagine a lot more anger. Uh, a lot more tears, a lot more feeling sorry for himself, maybe. Then we have this one. It's Motel Escape, and it says, My Instagram-loving blank wife allowed me to use her suitcase. And, of course, it's her deal or no deal suitcase. I love this one so much. A couple of you told me to check this one out. I'm so glad you did. This is hysterical. All right, so next up we have Despicable Meg. You guys, just look at all the detail they put in this photo. Uh, You got the, I mean, you can see it all here. You got the candle, you got the feather. Look at Harold. Look at Megan. Look at the earrings, all of it. Oh my God, flying her princess flag. I don't even like to allude to that. Um, Just so much going on in this one. Again, very clever, very well done. And then this one says, damn it, I can't go pick up my Gracie Award. What if nobody chases me, you guys? I actually think the lady in this photo is more put together, less messy. Um, Let me try again. Messy than Megan. I'd say she looks uh, a little better in this photo than we've seen her look. Okay. As you may or may not know, this is going around being reported. This is by express.co.uk. And it talks about the possibility of Harry and Meghan getting another Netflix series, maybe another special, that sort of thing, 
Well, Britain has spoken. <laughs> it says Britain's shun Harry and Meghan's Netflix film idea. No, no, no. It says I'd rather watch paint dry. So Lulu LA points out worse than telling a lie is trying to spend your whole time continuing to stay true to that lie. Of course, referring to the car chase that we use huge hilarious quotations around. And they posted this quote right here. We know they're lying. They know they're lying. They know we know they're lying. We know that they know we know they're lying. And still, they continue to lie. Side note, anyone here watch Friends and think of this episode? They don't know we know they know we know. (laughs) All right, GA Girl posted this. And I have no idea what the context is. And you know what? I don't need to know because it's hilarious. It says... They've made total asses of themselves here. And then we get this photo and I am blown away by how frightening it is. (laughs) I need to know details of what the hell I'm looking at, who did this and why. (laughs) But I do love it so much. Not their faces, but just the idea they're making asses of themselves and these two guys just put this on. And they're both hilarious, but something about Prince Harry and the placement of his chin just strikes me especially funny. Okay, so State of Flux posted this. And before I read it, let me explain. There's this thing going around, I've seen it too, where it's trying to, I assume that it is their, um, I don't know, their people (laughs) trying to spin things and say, oh, they never said there was a near (laughs) catastrophic car chase. That wasn't them. That was the media saying that. That wasn't them. Well, State of Flux, who's uh, whatever thumbnail I love so much, posted this showing, well, yeah, actually they did. Their spokesman (laughs) for the Duke and Duchess (laughs) posted, you know, the, the statement you've seen that they were involved in a near catastrophic car chase. So again, not shocking. They do these things. They say these things. They make shit up. And then when we call them on it, they blame the media, even though it's right there and easily provable. And there, it was surrounded by comments like this of people, again, their stands trying to say, they didn't claim it was a car chase. They, you know, blame that on the media. And it's like, no, they clearly said it was. But, you know, as per usual, why let the truth stand in your way, right? So, This person brought up another thing that I saw trending. It's going around that, (laughs) I don't know how anybody knows this. You got to take this with a grain of salt. But I I find it funny. This story keeps circulating that apparently Archie has been asking about his grandfather. And this person points out, well, no kidding. I guess they're done milking Granny Diana. uh, And then says, which grandfather? The wealthy royal one? Not the regular American one who lives almost next door. So then she points out they love to use their own son to manipulate. I was hearing this same story too. And again, I do take this with a grain of salt. But it does make me think. I don't usually go into the kids and I'm not going to. I don't even know if they're real. That's for you to decide. But but let's pretend like they are for a second. Just the, the I, feel, I feel for them in terms of it's not fair that their parents made piss poor decisions on both sides, alienated and cut off both sides of the family and um, and the kids have to suffer as a result. That totally sucks. And if he is asking about the grandfather, either one or both, you know, uh, I feel for the kid, but seriously, screw their parents. There's a lot of weird stuff going on right now on Twitter, especially in regards to Catherine and William. People are trying to start rumors. And again, it's allegedly being tied back to that WME agency that's representing Megan, that they might be spreading rumors like this to try to take attention off of uh, the negative publicity off of Harry and Megan. They wouldn't want any attention off of them, but (laughs) they're spreading rumors like William and Catherine are having trouble. So in regards to that, this person posted every Megan fan before they post about the royal family. And then you guys, they... (laughs) They shared this picture right here, and it has had me laughing all morning. I love it. That's perfect. I would say before posting on Twitter or TikTok or whatever they're on, before talking. Yeah, (laughs) it's probably right. And then this person posted that allegedly Princess Diana and uh, I guess it says hated Oprah Winfrey. Had you heard this? Is that a thing? 
And they say that's why Oprah paid Meghan Markle for that interview and scripted the entire thing. I, again, I'm not trying to go tinfoil hat here. I don't think I don't think Meghan Markle is that smart or would think of anybody else but herself. So I think Meghan saw it as a way to, I don't know, sell herself as a victim and get money and attention, all the things that she craves. So that's I don't. That's as far as I take that. I just wondered if there's any. Have you heard any of this? Is there any truth to this, or is this just more internet fodder? I'm just curious. Just curious if you had heard this story before this rumor. Well, guys, I'm going to leave this here. I've posted this one before, but it still rings true, especially since, you know, Little Mermaid's in the news again. So I thought this would be perfect. Look at Twitter. Woo! Things are kind of on fire over there in a good way. Um, hashtag Meghan Markle exposed. Hashtag Meghan Markle is a liar. Hashtag Meghan Markle is a fraud. And hashtag Markled are all trending right now. So I thought, you know what? Let's take a look. They have some funny memes over there, and uh, I'm excited to dive in. Thanks so much for being here. Right out of the gate, a huge thank you, Whiskey and Roses. I think you're here in the comments. I appreciate all the hilarious stuff you send. She sent me this. You guys, it's the Mega Bump. It comes in one trendy color, industrial beige. <laughs> oh my God, isn't this frightening and hilarious at the same time? Uh, apparently, it's only on QVC. Wear it. Fake it, make it, Meghan Markle. <laughs> I love this picture so much. It also gives me nightmares. Thank you so much, Whiskey and Roses, for sending. Whiskey and Roses also sent me this one, and it looks like the artist is at C H I T A, Cheetah. And it says, The crumbled flamingo look is all the rage. I have more by this artist coming up. She, he, whoever, they are truly talented. And this is the inspirational photo. You can see lots of scratching going on. The flamingo of it all. Just all of it. So here's the inspiration picture. Let's look back at that drawing. God, they're talented. That's so good. I love everything going on here. Perfect. Look, I mean, even the details of the shoes being too big. It's just perfect. So let's go back to this picture for a minute so you can really take this in. Now, it's being reported online that Megan has signed with WME, if you're like me, and said, who's that? <laughs> it's William Morris Endeavor. Now, this person tweeted something interesting. Let's take a look at this. I'll show you Deb's profile in a minute, but she tweeted out a detail that no one asked for, but I'll share it anyway. The crumbled flamingo short suit was made by, is it Stodd? Stodd? The label owned by the wife of, again, William Morris Endeavors owner. William Morris Endeavors is Megan's new talent agency. An appreciated merching or a flop try hard move by the wife. So yeah, here's Deb. She tweeted out, not a good look for your company talking to WME. The wife of WME's owner, and then says her name, and says Markled already. So when they're saying Markled, they're saying it's going to tank now because she's worn it and the clothes never look right and people will not buy it. So again, this person's tweeting out that that Stodd company just got Markled by allowing her, meaning Megan, to wear their brand. She totally ruined it. Women are thinking, quote, I don't want to look like a wrinkled mess like Meghan Markle, so they won't buy anything made by them. This detail just strikes me so funny, and then I think about the Kate effect, where anything that Kate touches immediately sells out, and then you have that wrinkled mess over here in the pink. So this tweet caught my attention. Mystified is claiming that they didn't sign her, it's that she's paying them. So I need to know more about this. If you know, leave it in the comments, but I'm fascinated how does that work? I just don't know anything about this stuff. Does did she pay them to represent her? How does that work? I thought it was the other way around when she got work. I don't know. So Mystified also tweeted this out, which I find absolutely fascinating. I guess it was originally tweeted by Megan Small. We love Megan Small here. She's sometimes in the comments. Hi. Um, she tweets wonderful things. She's such a such a sweet person. But okay. So it looks like Megan. Okay, let me start with Mystified. She says, oh my God, Meghan Markle faked a pregnancy. Well, isn't that the oldest trick in the Desperate Woman's book? Harry really, really is that dim-witted hashtag Meghan Markle's a con artist. So let me fill you in. Megan Small, again, love her. Hi, if you're here. I can't begin to tell you. Let's see. I'm sorry, let me back up. Okay, so this quote that she's listed, I believe has come out... Um, 
with this case that Harry's working on. Uh, I don't know if it's from a transcript or what, uh, but this is something that I've heard that came out because, again, he's an idiot and he's going forward with this whole court case thing. It says, I can't begin to tell you what it will say about the institution if this isn't resolved before the baby's arrival and the wedding. So think about that, implying that if that is truly what Harry said, allegedly, um, then he was under, he was operating under the assumption that she was pregnant. Hmm. So Megan's mole goes on to say, wow, this just confirms exactly what I've always suspected. Megan lied to Harry and told him she was pregnant. So the Telegraph had put out another story about Megan, and I think about that stupid outfit, what she wore, who cares? But this person, Wings to the World, tweeted, who gives a blank? Doesn't matter what shade of lipstick that race-baiting liar wears. Hashtag Meghan Markle's a con artist. And then they <laughs> they shared this picture. <laughs> you guys, I, this picture strikes me so funny. Look at the smug look on the pig. Does it look familiar? Because it, it does to me. And then Wings to the World posted this. Who wore, well, I guess it's who wore it better. My vote, Sammy Markle, 100%. So this is the preview for the upcoming sit down with the family and take a look. So Samantha's in pink and everybody's saying she pulled it off way better than (laughs) Megan's fiasco. All right. I love according to Taz. I know a lot of you in the comments do as well. I want to be friends with her and drink tea with her. Anyway, (laughs) she tweeted out, so Archwell has gone from, quote, an impact-driven global nonprofit that puts compassion into action, uplifting and uniting communities locally and globally online and offline. That was just their word salad statement, right? To Archwell, Markle and Prince Harry's content creation label. So as many of us said, it was a smoke screen. All right. So Pilot Hardy asks, what is your favorite Meghan Markle just rolled out of bed look? And they posted so many to choose from. I thought this was a fantastic compilation. I actually haven't seen the top right white dress, I don't think. That's a mess. Sorry. What am I thinking? That's messy. I don't know that I've seen the brown pants, the second um going from left to right. I just, I, I, that I don't know, but the rest I have definitely seen. So messy. And I decided to contribute one of my personal favorites. Take a look at this. So I just made a video. I don't know when this is going up versus when that one's going up, but it's, it'll be up around the same time where I do a deep dive into their disastrous New York trip. Remember 2021, uh, they thought they were doing a royal tour, but it wasn't a royal tour, but of course still using titles. But anyway, she wore the wor- <laughs> the worst clothes, and that is saying something. Think about that red Joker outfit. But this was one of the outfits she wore, and you talk about holy wrinkled, unhemmed mess. Woo! Yikes. So I, I submitted this one as one of my favorite wrinkled mess looks. Heidi Dundas tweets, Megan, go see your father. Hashtag strip the Sussex titles. And she ended up sharing another one of those cartoons I like so much. Let's take a look. After seeing Megan and Harry at last night's basketball game, well-wishers have clubbed together and to buy each of them a gift. So again, I want to give them the credits. It's at C-H-I-T-A. And they do such good work. I love their drawing so much. So she needs an iron. He needs a shave. So I love this drawing. Fantastic job. Which this person tweeted, hashtag Meghan Markle exposed. The irony. And if you don't know who that is, that is a picture of Jack Septicai, one of uh, Jay, my favorite YouTubers. He's very funny. He's a very cute Irish guy who I believe is based out of England, but he does like video game and reaction videos and stuff. But he's He's just got a really cool personality. I want to be friends with him one day too. So he's ironing him. He's ironing his face as you would. Again, same artist at Cheetah. Definitely check them out. Uh, Love this so much. Look at this. That horrible outfit she wore with the cape. (laughs) Being all dramatic. Look, shoes don't fit. Candle in front. Love it. Where's the hairy candle for coronation? And then is it Melik, I guess, tweeted um, again in response to uh, worst wrinkled mess look. And she says it's the wedding dress with this. And I haven't seen this meme and, you know, I got to do it. Look at me. Let's end on a good note, shall we? We got two more to look at. I love this one so much. This one is, let's see, what is it? Alex Marie Holland tweeted, I'm posting this because it's a lovely photograph and I don't care who it triggers. 
I'm sure the sugars came after him for that. But I love this picture so much. You got the Queen, Charles, William, and of course, baby Prince George. Oh, I love it. It is an excellent photo. Funny things on the internet. That's right. We're going to be having some laughs, taking a look at some funny pictures, and diving into some hot topics, looking at Twitter, talking about, well, Hank and Skank. So without further ado, let's jump right on in and see what people are talking about. I love this one so much. This really gave me a laugh. It's posted by Van72 and it says, some bloke on GB News just called Meghan Markle that chick from, <laughs> that chick from Suits whom everyone hates <laughs> and then posted a picture of Michael Scott. Perfection. I love it. It's fantastic. This one was posted by Faye Dashley. I'll show you the picture in a minute. It says, mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's got the ugliest personality of them all? Hashtag Meghan Markle is toxic. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I haven't seen this picture. <laughs> oh, excellent caption. Okay, I'm purposely not showing you the picture, so bear with me on this one. This is posted by Princess I Am, I Am, I Am. It says, never forget, hashtag Walmart Wallace, love that name, and how she disrespected and mocked the queen while Harold just sat there and looked. She markled herself and her family on TV. Okay, take a look at this picture she posted. Oh my god. It's from The Ring, a horror movie, in case you're young and you don't know what this is. This is a horror movie, The Ring, where this creepy girl climbs out of the TV. It's really frightening. But look, oh my God. Now that this is seriously all, <laughs> this is all I'll think about is one horror movie and the other horror movie. All right. Megan's Mole, who is a friend of the channel. Hi, Megan's Mole. Thanks for being here. She posted... 32 million plus wedding, 1 million on maternity clothes spent by Charles, taxpayer funded first class flights and private jet travel, $43,000 Heckfield Place three night baby moon, welcomed by the queen and family given advantages not previously given to royal girlfriends, royal security as Harry's girlfriend, Doria got an allowance and security, Yet, Megan claims she was treated appallingly by the royals. Excellent point, Megan's Mole. I love this post so much. I love that you went into some of the, eye, just some of the eye-watering sums and the privileges given to her and all the advantage and all the opportunities. And then yet she has the gall to, to talk about how they mistreated her. All right. This one's posted by Baroness Bruck, who says... Um, this is a throwback from Dylan Howard's book, Royals at War. I don't know this book. I need to look into this. Did you know, according to this book, Harry and Meghan provided an allowance for Doria out of their own allowed, allotted royal income? I did not know that. Trapped, hashtag oppressed, hashtag gilded cage. Let's take a look. All right. So this was apparently taken out of Royals at War, and it says... The fact that Meghan spent more than half a million pounds on clothes for public events during 2018 with 111000 just on her trip to Africa alone, as well as further costs for her private life, the jewels, the renovation of Frogmore, the allowance for her mother, Doria. Hmm. I'm going to need to know more about that. Her private trips with bodyguards. Okay. Yeah, I want to know more. I did not know... I guess I really didn't give it thought. I'm not shocked that she was on the payroll, but I'm I'm very curious how that worked. All right. This person's username always cracks me up. It's Madam Overseas Back Fat. Wow. <laughs> and it's, May, uh, let's see, Megan tried to get a title for Doria too. I did not know that. Is that a thing? Do you guys know about that? I didn't know that. Okay. Then Aussie Chick posts, I can't imagine how exhausting it is to be Megan Markle. Every waking moment until she goes to bed, scheming, lying, controlling, manipulating. What a head blank. You're right. You, I think about that too and trying to keep the lies straight, although she does a terrible job at that because she's constantly contradicting herself. So is he. But um, yeah, wow. What a way to lead a life, huh? All right. Blue Jay posted this one. Oh, goodness. It made me laugh. Okay. <laughs> Only in the USA 
Can a tacky white actress become a rich black princess? <laughs> Hashtag Meghan Markle. <laughs> you guys, the pictures. The pictures. There you go. Yeah. Wow. Only in the USA. That sounds right. Okay. So this person, HRH Sol Queen Salty Duchess Regina, posts talking about Megan and all the leaks that have come out lately. She knows Harry is going home alone and that terrifies her. She leaked it to ensure the fresh wounds prevent him from making amends with his family. We see you, Meghan Markle exposed. This is such a good point because I got so caught up in the, of course she does things for attention. You know, it was the queen's birthday and then Catherine was getting the attention for taking that beautiful photo of the queen and her great grandchildren, etc. I didn't even think about it like this. This is just such a good point. He's going home alone. So, of course, she has to stir shit up so he couldn't possibly reconcile with everybody. So, Tina posted, the royal family, the UK, and the Commonwealth are doing a happy dance. You guys, this is the part that made me save this tweet. You ready? This person calls her that, uh, see, the wicked witch of the West Coast. Oh, my God. That's so good. The Wicked Witch of the West Coast. I wish I had thought of that. That's so good. Okay. So Laird of the Manor posted, the, the math is not mathing. Hashtag Walmart Wallace. We're going to take a look at the, um, the picture that they included with this. Here we go. And here's the post that went with that. Okay. It says, so the couple who claimed the royal family is an outdated racist colonizer that caused them tremendous trauma, pain, and suffering. Therefore... They had to escape to Hollywood, such a funny sentence, to seek privacy and freedom. We want privacy. And the same couple who preach about equality is having a full-blown meltdown, insisting that the press start calling their children prince and princess because it's their birthright. A kid in the United States, an American citizen born to parents who have literally committed several treasonous acts toward the institution is somehow a princess in the United Kingdom? The math is not mathing. That's exactly right. Thank you. That so perfectly explains one of the million things that make no sense about this couple. All right. And then once again, HRH Queen Salty Duchess Regina posts, Walmart Wallace didn't have any of her ludicrous demands met when they were invited to the coronation as spectators. The Harkles are just rearranging deck chairs on the Titanic at this stage. But you guys, she posted this picture with us. <laughs> take, a, take a look at this. I love it so much. I've seen that wah -wah hairy picture, but this is the first I'm seeing of Megan like this. <laughs> so good. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so good. Oh, I can't stop laughing about this picture. It's perfection. All right. And then at Edith Bunker Hill posts, the new brochure has been updated. You know, there's been lots of talk of that. Why the heck is Megan in the brochure? But this person took it upon themselves to update the coronation brochure. Take a look at this. I don't know why this struck me so funny. Well, I do know why. They put a donkey head on Megan, which is pretty perfect. And it's just such a shitty Photoshop job that it just, it really, it struck me really funny. So here we go. Here's the new brochure. Yeah, a mostly beautiful family. I think we should have probably Photoshopped Harry's head as well. But um, the rest of them look great. And then we have the two jackasses in the back row to the right over there. We're going to be taking a look at some more tweets. That's right. Per popular demand request, whatever. Uh, you guys asked that I go through more funny memes, Twitter comments, things like that. So I thought, all right, let's dive in. I'm super excited and I'm so glad you're here. All right. Again, so much talk about this stupid whatever award by Gloria Steinem. I couldn't care less about it, but this person posted something funny. It's at, what is it? Uh, Sarah Perez 15 posted a par participation award. Love it. So many people were asking, how much did she pay to get this award? At New York Vicky posted this, which we will be reading through because it's hilarious. Put review for the audio of conceit and self glorification that was supposed to be a quote podcast. So somebody reviewed Arched. I never say that right. Archetypes, archetypes. Um, 
hashtag Meghan Markle is a narcissist, hashtag Meghan Markle exposed, and I love it. So let's jump right on in and read this review. Here we go. Side note, Jay and I got into this on Patreon. We listened as much as we could. We couldn't stomach that much, but we listened and had the funniest time just roasting it because it really is the most narcissistic thing you've ever heard from the affected way that she speaks to nothing is genuine, everything is pre-scripted for her, and uh, just unbelievable. She talks for 20 minutes about herself before she even gets to the guest. It's just wild, just incredible to listen to. All right, let's look at this review here. It says, Awful Podcast. This podcast is trite and inane at best. At worst, Meghan Markle uses this as a platform for self-glorification. Yes, that's exactly what we found too. Barely waiting for her guest to finish a sentence, she turns the subject immediately right back to herself. Not even that. I mean, she does do that, but she also, again, I'm not kidding. I think we listened to the first 20 minutes before she even lets the guest come on. And I understand some hosts do that to catch you up on like, I don't know, pop culture or what's in the news, that sort of thing. No, it was stories about herself. It I mean, lack of self-awareness to a degree I haven't seen before. Revealing her narcissism and shocking level of conceit and hubris. She's a woman so deeply in love with herself that she's unaware that her own stories are so unbelievably tone deaf, sorry, deaf, <laughs> and condescending. Yes, exactly. That's what we noticed too. And like I say, we, we go into a pretty deep dive of that. There's nothing to gain by listening to this podcast except to listen to the excruciating voice and vocal fry of a woman who loves the sound of her own voice and a narcissist who wants nothing more than to talk about herself at all times. This person nailed it. That was exactly my complaint with it. I, oh my God. It, I don't know why I'm shocked, but I was shocked listening to it. It really was is incredible just the the level of narcissism and and like this person says no self-awareness whatsoever all right robin lynn king power to the bower posted this one woman so much destruction she destroyed harry and his reputation her own father her sister william's reputation uh, sorry relationship with harry charles's relationship with harry harry's relationship with his grandparents and cousins, not to mention business relationships past and present. And then that picture right there where she's still, I don't, it's like a self-congratulatory smirk or something. All right. At Janet420 posted this, malignant sociop sociopathic narcissists are always toxic with this photo right here. Me, 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 narcissistic owl. I, I love it. That's perfect. All right, at King of Pop Tweets posted this one, and I just want you to brace yourself before you see this picture. I have not seen this picture. I thought I'd seen them all, but yikes. And they say, look at her mouth uh, and then watch the video. I'm going to try to find the video, but why did she have to pose like this? You guys, you've been warned. Get ready. If you're having lunch, you're going to want to stop this video. My God, look at this. Of course, she's the one in the middle. And what is this pose? <laughs> oh my God. Uh, it just goes right along with that tongue stuff she keeps doing now. Hmm. Advertising services, I guess. All right. This one also comes with a picture, which I'll show you in a second. It says it's at I see what I see. As if hashtag Meghan Markle hasn't complained enough. Now she's complaining about the size of hashtag Pris Harry's winky. You guys, here's a picture that they attached. Hilarious. I absolutely love it. This is one of the bronzer, mis like, I, like bronzer caked on like I've never seen, but I didn't even, I was so busy paying attention to the bronzer and the fact that her hand doesn't even kind of match her face here that I didn't even notice that she was making Prince Harry sized finger gestures. Okay, so this one is by Magnolia and Bloom, and it's in regard to Meghan Markle as a con artist, and she writes, Meghan Markle connives in leg spread mode. You guys, wait till you see this picture. You ready for this? What in the world? <laughs> Tell me you're trying to get attention for yourself without getting attention to herself. I, once again, I see her pants are pulled up to her neck, but of course she would stand like this. She didn't have enough attention. She was there to watch... 
I don't know, somebody else, I guess Harry or something, but so she needed attention on her. So why not just stand like this? Totally normal. Nothing to see here. And at Jimmy Joe Yam posted this one. I got paid just to open briefcases. Now I'm going to find a prince to put money in it for me. And of course, with pictures of Megan. This one was sent to me. I wish I could credit whoever made this, but it's the Grifters Award. And it's a pile of them that I guess they paid for themselves. And it's, <laughs> we want privacy. Stop looking at us. I love it. I, this will never not be funny to me. Come on, South Park. We're going to need another episode. Okay. And finally, we have at CPH underscore Milano. And it says, when the act drops or she's challenged, example, Catherine looking directly at her at the Windsor walkabout post Queen Elizabeth II's um, death, it says, hashtag Meghan Markle exposed is one of the most socially awkward people I've seen. With all her other behaviors, I have no doubt she has an antisocial personality disorder, I would say amongst other things. But yeah, I mean, I was joking about the leg spread thing, but it's just not, not, I just can't wrap my head around so many of her behaviors and actions because I've never quite seen anything like that before. And it's more than socially awkward. It's I mean, I, I, you know, I'm no therapist. I don't know. But I'm saying it, it appears to me like just cries for attention and, again, go back to the narcissism and maybe with some antisocial thrown in for fun. I'm not quite sure. I, I would also throw in some evil there because you can't stare down people the way she does and not have, I don't know, a black heart or a black soul or something like that. It just, ugh. Whew, it's a lot. Guys, that's right. Meghan Markle is a liar is twending, trending on twending, trending on Twitter. And I thought, you know what? Let's have some fun and take a look and see what's going on, shall we? You guys, I'm dead. <laughs> this one was sent to me and I wish I had the creator's name. I do not. But whoever you are, you are a genius. Look at this. I always talk about this time cover and how weird it is because... Obviously, we know they are not the same height, but for whatever reason, they photoshopped them to be the same height, and it, he looks like her stylist standing behind her. Anyway, now it makes sense. Why, you guys? This is just so creepy. So creepy. All right, right out of the gate. This is awesome. I'll reveal the picture in a minute, but it says, uh, tweeted by Princess Gilbert, and it's, this is the face of a narcissist. She smiled the whole time. It was strange to say the least. She couldn't even read the room because she doesn't care. It's all me, me, me. Narcissistic to the core. Hashtag Meghan Markle is a liar. All right, let's take a look at this picture and see what's going on. Ah, so much cringe. Also so much bronzer. Ballsy to wear that much bronzer with a white jacket and hat. But there she is, smiling away. I love everybody's reaction around her. I do. I feel like you and I would be sitting together on the pew or whatever near, you know, nearby and snickering and elbowing each other like, look at this. <laughs> What's with all the bronzer? <laughs> okay, you guys, a picture is coming, but I don't want to spoil it yet. This is at E. Lostier. And she's just saying that she was kicked off Twitter for talking about Megan's lies, but she's back and she's celebrating. And you guys look at the picture she posted to celebrate. Oh my gosh, you know, I love to be petty and this, <laughs> it just makes me laugh so hard. I love it. Look at this. Oh my God. I, this is my kind of petty right here. I could not, I cannot, I cannot stop laughing about this. You're a genius. You guys, I've been excited to show you this one. This one is at Robin Ling King 2. Any idea what Meghan Markle is a liar book will be about? I love this. Look at this. Prestige Worldwide Boats and Hoes. <laughs> so good. All right. This one was at the Fab Book Lover tweets in regards to that stupid award that Meghan is who cares? It's all bullshit. Um, I'm legit confused. What work has Megan done except complain, lie, be lazy, make pregnant women and children cry, and race bait? 
Wonder how much it costs to get this award. Hashtag Meghan Markle's a grifter. Hashtag Meghan Markle is a liar. I love I love it. I thought this was just so well said. And yeah, it's exactly how I feel too. How much did she pay for that award? You guys, Lean Machine, sorry, Lean Mean Machine on Twitter posted this. The prince arriving at court. Look at this. Please look at me. We want privacy. <laughs> It's so good. All right, we'll take a look at the pictures in a second, but at Goth Loretta posted, so many call Amber Heard out, yet Meghan Markle is one of the same. The total destruction of Haz is manifesting with his drug confessions just like the beginning, yet she gets a free pass due to being mixed race when she feels like it. Here we go. And then they showed the smirks. You'll see all the Amber Heard smirks. You see the Megan smirks. I'm not sure what day this is coming out, but I actually have a compilation of the Megan smirks coming out. But, oh, such a good point. I've often compared these two and their antics and their look at me's and (laughs) how they can just straight face, just say lies and utter nonsense and expect people to believe them, even though their story has changed 25 times. But... Anyway, such a good comparison. I love that they put together the smirks and compared them. All right, I'm excited about this one. Picture incoming. So, at D. Cherry is posted, because they're forming a, quote, new royal family, didn't you know? Meghan Markle's a liar. Harry and Meghan finished. Okay, let's take a look at the picture that they added. You guys, it says the Archbishop crowned H as king three <laughs> days earlier. We already had a coronation ceremony in some church in L.A. I can't remember the name of. Megan, pro grifter. I love it. Oh, my God. This person is so smart and so clever. Fantastic. Of course, playing on that BS story she fed us about. We got married three days earlier. No, no, you didn't. Saw tons of tweets like this um, talking about that stupid thing with Gloria Steinem. It's the award that Megan's supposed to be getting. I really couldn't care less about it because it means nothing. But so many people saying lying Meghan Markle shouldn't be celebrated. Sorry, Gloria Steinem. Ouch. (laughs) And that was um, by Danny Davidson tweeted that out. So, ah, look at this picture. Dancer19 tweeted, every time I see a camera, every time I hear a camera click, it takes me back. Talking about what Dum Dum said in his book, and here we are. Look at this picture. I mean, it couldn't be more cat that ate the canary, right? He's so proud of himself for being in front of a camera. You know, the thing he pretends to hate. All right. And then we have at skate like a girl eight. Hashtag mustache mag. Wait till you see the picture they attach with this. You ready? I have no idea what mustache mag is about, but look at this picture. Oh my God, I'm dying. Look at this. Oh, they're genius. Look. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a mustache. Look at her bird legs. I love it. This person is so brilliant with Photoshop. It's fantastic. Or it's just a picture of Meg they found posing for cameras. Okay, so in regard to that stupid award again, this person tweeted, Meghan Markle is the worst thing to happen to women. She doesn't build women up or praise them. She shuts them down, ghosts you, is flat out, or is flat out rude. I'd love to hear it firsthand from all her ex-staff. Me too. Me too. That's exactly what I've been screaming is <laughs> let them out of their NDAs. Let them really talk and let's hear how much she, quote, builds up women. All right. Got another picture coming up in a second, but it says at Skate Like a Girl 8, Meghan Markle faked a pregnancy, kids, a family, and more. I think she'll fake presidency. She'll just Photoshop her way into the Oval Office If it's in the news, then, or on the telly, then it's real. Perfection. Oh my God. Yeah. So then she posted this. That's exactly it. If she gets it into the headlines and it suits her, then yeah, she makes believe that it's real. So why not Photoshop her way (laughs) into presidency? Oh my God. Seriously. Will somebody please adopt me in the UK? All right. Picture incoming. Don't worry. It says that that hat should have been a warning to everyone. And you know, I've always called it the poop emoji hat. Somebody went and made this. Look at this. Oh my God. It so perfectly goes with that weird smug smile. Here you go. Here's the poop hat. (laughs) It's perfect. Hey, it's me. You've reached the end. Over three hours of content. Did you stick with me the whole time? Please let me know in the comments so I can thank you. That is so kind of you. 
you don't know what this means to me. I just, I really, truly appreciate you all so much. I do three hours of content. I hope you enjoyed it. I truly do. And I, I can't wait to do more compilations and just more, more stuff in general. I'm looking forward to all kinds of fun stuff in the new year for the channel. Personally, like I'm hoping to maybe get back to the UK at some point, lots of big plans coming up. So stay tuned. Hopefully I'll be able to update the channel soon on what's going on. But in the meantime, thank you for the support. You know, I appreciate you all so much. Oh, this picture is nightmare fuel. I'll talk to you guys again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.